Oh, I'm cold. And hungry. And bored. And my butt's hurting. And I'm also thirsty. But hey, I'm not complaining. This is fun. I like staring at buildings all night, every night, until my eyes start bleeding. Do you think Na'ane's been acting weird? I mean, she's always been a bit weird, but after she came back from Miria... Actually, since you arrived. Why is that? Have you noticed anything... weird? Eno, please pay attention. Oh, what's there to pay attention to? We've been watching that building for a week now. Nothing is going on in there. I almost wish Liko was here instead of me. But any chance he has to avoid going on a mission with you, he'll take. I can't believe he's still upset you didn't kill that officer. I mean, we've gotten good information from him. Liko's just being a real poophead. He's upset about losing Old Town. Yeah, but what could we do? I mean, he decided he couldn't trust your information. That's not your fault. So, what else is going on with you? Hey, what happened with that woman, Anna? Didn't you and her have a- Nothing happened. And I shouldn't have told you anything. You can trust me. I tell no secrets. Except to all my girlfriends, of course, when we get together over wine and... I'm kidding. I have no friends, you know that. Aside from you guys. You guys are my best friends, and that's really sad. I'm depressed now. But she's pretty. Anna, I mean. Beautiful hair, striking freckles, nice scowl. She'd make a fine, uh, companion. I'm not interested. Oh. Okay, so, uh, is there anyone at all that you're- Enu, I'm not interested in women. You're not interested in- <gasps> Sure! Oh, I knew that. <laughs> of course, that's, that's fine. Perfectly fine, so- so who do you... Look, something's happening. Oh, yes, someone's leaving the house. Call in reinforcements. People leave that house every day, Kian. They arrive in the morning and leave at night. Almost like it's a real business of some sort. Doesn't look like a real business to me. You're too suspicious. Must be all that hanging around as Adi... What are you guys up to? Bip! What in Shadow's name are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Oh, right. I have a message. It's from Ulvik. <clears throat> he says, come to the bar immediately. There's been developments. I don't know what developments is, but Ulvik's face was frowny, so it's probably important. It always is. Good job, Bib. Let's not keep Ulvik waiting. I'll go first. We won't attract as much attention if we arrive separately. You see that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with the pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay? Not in my bar, you won't. If they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. 
We need borrow to borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. Sorry. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. So what do we do, Kian? Ulvik brought this to our attention. It's only fair that I include him in the decision. What do you think, Ulvik? Me? Well, I think you three are resourceful in uh, different ways. Instead of bickering about what to do, which is what usually happens, why not split up? There's every chance that one of you will come up with something that doesn't involve murder, the total destruction of my pub, or blowing my cover. I agree. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys a round for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. Goat eats leaves, goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait, I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? What was that herb the mole spoke of? Evensong. This must be it. It's an opiate. Consume enough and you fall asleep. What exactly are you doing to that goat? Wait, does this have anything to do with why you rejected me? Goats? Honestly? What do you mean by goats and honestly? I don't understand your words, woman. Hey, I'm not judging anyone. I'm just surprised is all. Where have you been this past month? Away. Far away. Travelling, so... Uh... This goat, what's going on here? It's rebel business. Clearly. How's that working out for you? Are you one of them now? I'm atoning for my sins. Right. But you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the Resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. I heard you went soft on our vile little Azadi officer. If I'd known, I would have taken care of him myself. Not killing him makes some sense, a source in the tower and all, but for going torture, that's just a missed opportunity. The thing about torture is that it's a seal of authenticity. It makes every piece of information more... reliable. I understand your friends didn't take the officer's word for it. Well, even if you didn't pull out of Old Town, at least the Resistance put up a decent fight before... The important thing is, many Azadi died that night. Chalice half-fallen, all that. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Ah, oh, I've missed this. The one-sided conversations. The sullenness and suspicion. I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, goats? We have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need to speak with Olvik. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. This is what I love about you, Kian. You're such a people person.
This is Evensong. It works on goats. Well, then it should work on the Azadi too, eh? One more ale on the house, da? Ah, what a lovely head. This one smells different. Malty, sweet. It's almost like the sugar ale from Southern as a day. Now, this is a brew, Vic. Tastes like home, this does. It brings tears to my eyes. It is simply spect... He's dead to the world, knocked out by Evensong. long out there. If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions and I won't have any good answers. That's one of the maintenance hatches from the mechanic's map. There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in a tube. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid, and it's swift. A crate full of angled pipe sections. Elbows, if I'm not mistaken. Metal ball? That's what's flying through these pipes? Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads, hopefully to some answers. I need to find a way into that building tonight. Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what are they call them 
ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light. What a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, guess so. They're building bonfires for Reap Moon's Eve next week. So we meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats? I'm too busy to be talking to the boy. And he really shouldn't be out. The streets aren't safe for magicals. The boy appears genuinely interested. I've been told this is rare in children. Perhaps I shouldn't discourage him. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. Bib, do me a favor. Take this back to the bar and give it to Elvik. What is it? Stop being nosy or you'll lose it. Your nose, I mean. Elvik knows what it is. I don't know. What's in it for me? I won't smack you upside your head. You wouldn't do that anyway. What else? Someday you'll make a ruthless merchant. How about a coin? You'll get an iron coin when you're done. And perhaps a big cup of really strong ale. You're... ten? Sure, why not? You've got yourself a deal, Azadi. <sighs> it's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. Here's some particularly potent cheese, filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. Is it breathing? I don't know. And I don't care. It's a rat, and it's not moving. Was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like. You've got to be kidding me. 
Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there's not gonna do it. So yeah, it's on us. <sighs> Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. Oh, oh, um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Oh, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, you're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn what? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm Ferdows, lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known, you know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... You know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... You, you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers. Complex equations. I, we, uh, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. You, you can't be here. You're a fugitive, and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm... I'm really not supposed to. Right. Bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. Its core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? 
well, we're not. I mean, it's, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword... Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Uh, yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now, this allows us to write ever more complex messages, until finally we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one we send to the tower. Why? Because... because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the Pike Network, the engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um... I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. This is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres, not to ask questions. And, and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower, and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta... Do you mean magic? <laughs> magic? Magic! Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality. Rewrite the laws of the cosmos. Remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the... on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, ideas. Stories. Dreams. Magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So... Is that why magicals are... are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. Uh, this is true, yes. But only temporarily. Th this is their first stop. 
Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe. And happy. And... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> there are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. No. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The Emissary will be there, together with the First, and the Prophet, and... and... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the Goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Kian. I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, Engineer, what's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. Ferdows. I'm... Ferdows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I've no idea what you're talking about. Go, Ferdows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the Goddess here. Old Town was a distraction. Amon meant it to be a struggle, for my men to die. He wanted to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the Emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and... You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the mother, it would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermont about the camps. And what they're doing to... You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, you idiot! Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this. 
Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light! What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he here? How did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir, or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. Kian, thank the balance, you're back. Bip's been- They've taken him. Taken... yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before- The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here? For one child's life? Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Stop it. That's not what happened and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why. And I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. I couldn't care less what you do with your life, Kian. But if you die, the Resistance suffers. And if I don't go after him, Bip suffers. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And Ani has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, there won't be enough of us left to fight. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey. How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying! And loud! Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush!
Following the terrorist attack on Propast, where eight I officers and five civilians were killed by Marxist party members, the Syndicate has promised to maintain heightened security across Europolis until after the upcoming elections. The Propast district remains under full I lockdown and 24-hour curfew. We're now joined by Marek Farah in Propast. And Marek, how are regular people in Propast handling this very difficult situation? Well, Rika, as you can see, the streets here are deserted. Almost two months after the August attack on the I headquarters in Propast. There's security everywhere, and everyone who goes outside is subject to random searches and arrests. There is a 24-hour curfew in effect, but people are allowed to traverse the districts as long as they carry the appropriate paperwork and submit to any searches and questions. What about essentials like food and water, Marek? Are any stores or restaurants still open? I think this is Everything done. Everything is closed, mm, smells good. but rations are distributed to residents of Propast on a regular basis. Uh, medical personnel are on constant standby. No one here is in any immediate danger of starvation. Has there been any indication of how long this lockdown will continue? The Syndicate is not saying, Rika, but spokespeople have hinted that Propast will remain under Syndicate guardianship until after the election in... We appear to have lost our connection to Marek Farah in Propast. We will attempt to re-establish the connection in the meantime, when we come back, we talk to someone very close to Marxist leader and terrorist mastermind, Marta Rebus, about her dark and... Shit. Power's out. Again. I'm sure they're doing this just to screw with us. I'll have to check the emergency fuel cell in the kitchen cabinet. It should have kicked in by now. I can jiggle it a bit. That sometimes works. Nope, that did not work. I guess I need a new one. And I know just the person. Zoe Maya Castillo, your district is subject to syndicate mandated martial law. Please submit an approved destination or return to your home. <sighs> Thank you. The pandemonium is your only approved destination. I will accompany you. Please don't talk. Stay close to your escort and don't deviate from your path. Everything's closed. No customers, no permits. Everything's closed. No customers, no permits. I'm going to miss Wit. I don't know why, exactly, since we've never had a conversation, but I'll still miss the big guy. There's a lot going on inside that head of his. Look what the bot dragged in. Maybe it's something I ate, but I actually feel relieved to see you, Petal. Are you all right? I'm really not. You? You know, Wit is not exactly vivacious company. It's been quiet around here since we closed shop. I apologize for firing you with a pre-recorded message, by the way. Company policy. Oh, don't worry about it. You said you closed shop. There's no business. We don't even have wire access. It's like being on a really shitty desert island without sun, sand or coconuts. 
Oh, wire access. We're actually thinking about heading back to Mumbai. Well, I'm thinking about it. We will tag along wherever the road takes us. Anyway, you're here for your dreamer. What? I fixed it. You had your dream machine delivered to me because it was broken about a month ago. Does any of this ring a bell? Your friend, that German suit, said you'd come by to pick it up? He looked like a Jaeger. I thought he was here to blow my brains out, but he was very personable. What was wrong with it? An early batch, bad soldering. I fixed several like it in the past. FYI, it's an off-the-shelf model that pings Wati servers with a device ID and your biometric data as soon as you connect. That won't be a problem unless they've put an alert out on you or that particular device. But I went ahead and blocked it anyway. Still, it is a licensed product. There may be other security measures. I cannot be 100% sure that it won't alert Wati. There are unlicensed dreamers out there without any security chips. But Mr. London has that market locked up here in Propast. Given the trigger-happy toy soldiers out there, I wouldn't know how to get hold of one. I'll be fine with this one. As long as you know the risks. If you weren't here for that, then why the house call? Oh, uh, fuel cell. The power went out and I don't have a working backup. That's not very smart, Kutia. Lucky for you, I'm up to my neck in fuel cells. Anything particular you're in the market for? The cheapest you have. Grab one from that box over there. They're refurbished cells, but they'll keep your apartment going for a few weeks at least. Bring it back before it goes dead. I'll refill it for you. So how much do I owe you? Consider it your severance package. If we're ever back in business, there will be a job for you. You're not too bad, Kurtia, despite appearances. Uh, thanks, I guess. Wait, what happened to that data I decrypted for you? Who did you end up giving it to? I gave it to the Hand, but before they could publish it... They were shut down. Where's the data now? With Reza, in Iceland. Iceland. The final refuge of rogue journalists. You didn't keep a copy? I didn't want to risk it. Stupid, I know. You may have just saved your ass. Too bad about the story, though. When is your Jorbo coming back? I really don't know. When they feel it's safe, I guess. That story needs to run, Kutria. Whatever it takes, make it happen. You have expended your daily time out. I will now accompany you back to your registered domicile. Don't bother, I know the way. Every step you take, I'll be watching you, as mandated by martial law. How about every breath I... Oh, I give up. If Miss she's Hestia? here, Queenie must still be around. Queenie is requesting your immediate audience. I haven't seen her in... Sure, but... Uh, what about my... Uh, my escort? You have arrived at your approved location. Have a nice day. You can come on board now. Impressive. We do our best. I'm glad you're back on your feet, Zoe. I was hoping to see you again before I left. You're leaving? I heard the hand was shut down. You had friends there. Good friends. Boyfriend. The Hand was going to publish an article about Watikorp conspiring with both Unity and European Dawn when the Syndicate shut them down. But they still have the evidence. My boyfriend Reza brought it to Iceland. The data's safe, 
there, but the Hand hasn't been able to publish it. There's still a chance to make things right, then. This is why I wanted to speak with you. You knew the woman who set off the bomb. Nella. You were there. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I don't believe she planned to kill anyone. She wasn't... Nella was a good person. She cared about people. She gave me something to keep safe, but I lost it in the explosion. Maybe it could have explained why... Our lives are shaped by events beyond our control. The choices we make can point us down one road or the other. But where that road ultimately leads... Your friend's death was not of her own making. The device she used was rigged. It was meant to disrupt the eye, not to kill anyone. An EMP? How do you know this? Nayla needed someone to help her assemble the device. Hannah came to me after the bombing. She was distraught. Of course, she had no idea what they were doing. But she is the link. She may be able to connect the bomb to the Syndicate. The Syndicate is behind the attack on their own people. Everyone is expendable. It all leads back to Watikorp Zoe. They are consolidating their power and ridding themselves of loose threads. I'm leaving. This city is infected, rotting from the inside. You need to leave too, but first, there's something you must do. Your memories... They're coming back. I know what I need to do. The dream machine. Be very careful. Powerful forces are converging here and elsewhere. How do you... I've been around a long time. You learn to read the signs. You're fading, Zoe. Fading? Like a page that's been left out in the sun too long. Do what needs to be done. Do not hesitate any longer. I've given you time to regain your resolve, but we're almost out of it now. If we both make it through the storm ahead, I'll find you again. I hope so. I will. Now go home and do what needs to be done. Wake up! You can come out now. How long have you known I was here? Do not mistake me for an old woman, Hannah. You told her about... There's no more time for secrets. Watikorp must be brought down. What you know will make a difference. But I don't have any actual proof they were involved. I only made deliveries. You know enough. Find the evidence. Work together with Zoe. How do you know we can trust her? She's like you. Someone who shapes dreams. I know. I mean, I guessed when we met. But how is that even possible? I thought I was the only one. Why do you think you were drawn together? Coincidence is a powerful force. Zoe needs your help. A terrible shadow has fallen over her. How do you know this? I don't. I'm not a fortune teller, and the future is never crystal clear. It branches and divides, indefinitely and infinitely, but there are patterns and signs. If you know where to look. Do you have to leave? They know I'm here now. Watikorp has been looking for me a long time. I'm a... a loose thread. I promise I'll find you again, Hannah. Your journey is just beginning. There are wonderful things in store for you. But for now, your job is to help Zoe finish her journey. Without that, without her, there will be no more stories. Afterwards, if the universe is still here, we can talk about the next chapter.
It's our emergency fuel cell. I never knew my mother, but I've been told that in many ways she's the opposite of my father. Gabrielle never makes hasty choices. Gabrielle ponders, and when his mind's made up, he'll stick with his decision until the end. My mother's impulsive, mercurial. If the wind changes, she'll let herself be swept away with it, as long as it's to her benefit. She put me in a coma. I'm not a big fan. But maybe it's time I accept some risks. After all, I keep telling everyone I want to remember. I need to enter dream time. I need to revisit the past. It's the only way to save the future. You returned, but you were still not here. You must be here. Is this a dream? I thought I'd actually travel across this time. You were here, but never truly. Not yet. But you must come to... Ah! What the heck was that? Oh, hey guys, what's up? Crow? Your crow? You're Crow. I remember you. You do? I am. Wait. I remember you, too. Of course you do. It's me, Don't Zoe. Don't say anything. I've got this. Lorelei. Baby Cakes. Schnoodlebum. Who? I'm... Agneta. I'm sorry. Uh, how have you been? That's not... Look, Aggie, I apologize for taking off without a word of warning. I didn't have a choice. I was needed. I'm uh... not Agnita. I'm... Auntie May? No. Zoe. Where? Oh. Oh, Zoe! Yes! 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 The girl who was dreaming. You look... different. Are you sure you're you? <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't know. You look a lot better than you used to, and your voice, it's sultry. You sound like a cinnamon bird. I don't even know what that means. I was in a coma for a while, maybe that's... What are you doing here, Crow? Are you really here? Let me check. Yep, all here, not a feather missing. So, where is here exactly? Whoa, Nellie, I didn't expect that. Uh, you... Uh, you were... memorable. Wait, Auntie May? No? No. I was Abnaxus of the Venar. That's right. I remember you now. You were really annoying to talk to. Took ages to get anywhere. How have you been? I will not complain. I don't get it. This is just like that dream I've been having. Except for you, Crow, you're new. And improved. It's that preening routine I'm following, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So why didn't I make it across? The connection was weak. Compromised. You were only half dreaming. Only half there. You will need to be all there. And soon, or it was too late, but you had brought the bird over. The bird will be the key. If you can just... You must go, now. 
What? What's going on? Who? Who? Are... There's little time. They are coming. But the hallway is clear. Leave, Fräulein. Schnell. Zoe, over here, quickly. This way. Where are we going? We need to get off the streets. Did Queenie send you? She said that you needed help. Why did you tell Queenie I wasn't doing so well? You weren't. That's not the point. I said I was fine. It wasn't up for interpretation. Sometimes it's better to just let people know rather than keep pretending. The eyes will be here soon. We need to go underground. How's that going to help? We can't just hole up in one of those chambers forever. Trust me. What is this place? The world beneath. A network of tunnels covering all of Pro Past and beyond. I don't know how far it goes. This is amazing. Is this how you guys get around? For the most part. Some of the nests are only accessible from above ground, but you can get pretty much anywhere from here. Come on. Wait, where are we going? You spoke with Queenie. You know I helped Nella with that device. The one that killed all those people. You didn't know. And neither did Nela. You're right. But someone did. Someone does, and we're gonna put it right. Mr. London has a warehouse down here. It's where I pick up and make deliveries. It was just a job, but that's where we're going. To find evidence to connect Watty Corp to the bombing. This warehouse, is that where London keeps his unlicensed dream machines? He keeps everything in there. Why? I need one. For after we clear Nella's name. Long story. Tell me later. We need to go. It's only a matter of time before the eyes start digging deeper. I came as fast as I could. Are you okay? Perfectly. You know Zoe. Hey Zoe. This is yours. You dropped it when... Boom. I was following you. I didn't know who you were working for back then. I saw what happened. The man who pulled you away, he didn't notice you dropping that. I thought the eye took it. I've been wanting to return it. What is it? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Let's get a move on, before the eyes figure out where we are. Fuck! We lost power to the gates. They must know you're down here. We'll have to use the manual overrides. It requires two people, some sort of security measure. I'll show you how it works. Go ahead, Abby. Okay, Zoe, you can pass through now. After this is over, can we please leave Propast and go somewhere that has an actual sun? And no battle suits. I promise. You're not coming with us. I'm going to make sure you have time to do what you need to do. She'll take care of the eyes. Is that safe? Don't worry about me. I've done this before, plenty of times. See you soon, babe. Be careful. Always am. Hannah, I- Stop. Love you. Me too. I'm happy to see you guys are okay. What you said to Abby... It made a difference. She stopped using the dream machine. And after you found me, I realized I couldn't just... keep hiding. I promised Abby we'd get out of Europolis. I'm thinking Mumbai. Why Mumbai? Don't laugh, but... I had a dream about it. About those dreams? Visions. They are more like visions, right? Or like peeking through a curtain, across a, a, a divide. There's another world there. I've seen it. Have you been there? I have. And you dream yourself across? I can, but only by connecting to a dream machine. 
I thought I was the only one. Me too. What does that mean? I don't know. But we'll find out. Together. Okay, so you know the drill. Once the gate opens, you need to go through and hold the lever down. Push it down. All right, I'm coming through. Don't let go or I'll be sliced ham. So what happened? Naila, the device? The detonator was supposed to trigger an electromagnetic burst. You know, to disrupt communications and mess with the eye battlesuits. But the EMP generator got switched out with an antimatter chamber. Jesus. Lucky for you it had limited range. They weren't trying to wipe Caprova off the map. I guess they just wanted to make a point. Frey Manifesto. Remove another party from the election. Let's do this. Same as last Do you hear that beeping? What is that? I don't... Yeah, it's coming from you. You're beeping. Why would this be so important to Nella? It makes no sense. It's beeping. What is this? Some sort of holographic storage? I don't know, but it's reacting to something down here. Let's track it down. Come on, follow me. and shut down the city. Full curfew, everyone stays at home, hooked up to their dream machines. Whatty wins. So where did the antimatter come from? London's a stickler for detail. He'd always make sure everything that moved in and out of his warehouse is scanned and catalogued. Paranoia, maybe? Covering his ass. Anyway, when I picked up that final piece, the one that was supposed to be an EMP generator, I noticed it had a Whatty Corp reference code in their system. I didn't think much about it. I mean, they make everything else, so why not? If we can find one of those antimatter chambers, along with the tracking information... We may be able to connect Watticourt with the device. We can prove they were behind the attack. And the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. Or maybe we get killed. I'd say our odds are 50-50. I think this is it. Um... What is this? It's a singularity, I think. One of the original wire access points from before the collapse. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it must have fallen off the grid. Let me check if it's... It's active. So the Syndicate has no idea this exists. But I can't establish a connection to my iris. Or protocols, probably. It has a holographic port. It might be able to read physical data, and it's blinking at the same rate Nella's package is beeping. It's like it wants to connect. I guess we should do what it asks. Nella Vilcek, owner of Nella Bytes. I'm leaving this message. Manifesto party leadership has not authorized its operation. Marta Ribas has no knowledge of what's about to happen. I am acting of my own free will as part of a manifesto splinter group. We're tired of... <sighs> Marta Ribas believes in politics. She's an idealist. I wish more people were like her. But the truth is... Democracy is dead. The corporates won. The elections are a facade. It's all a big fat festering lie, a show put on by our syndicate puppet masters to appease the proletariat. Whoever wins this autumn, it won't change a goddamn thing. They have made sure of that. They own them all. Everyone's corrupted. Everyone. 
We can't let this go on. We need to shake things up, start fresh. This is why... This is why I'm taking action today. I have been asked to detonate a non-lethal EMP charge in front of the I headquarters on Kaprova. This custom-built charge was designed to disable eye communications, sabotage their operations, and immobilize their battle suits. It's a, a message. A loud, bold message. But <sighs> it's just another lie. The non-lethal EMP charge has been replaced with a very lethal antimatter device. The detonation will kill me along with anyone else caught in the blast. There will be casualties, military and, and civilian. They'll accuse Ribas of harboring radicals and inciting violence. Manifesto will be destroyed. They don't know that I know. If they did, I'd be dead. But I need to go through with this, because if I don't, nothing changes. If I go to the authorities or the press, they'll sweep it all under the rug and make me disappear. They're good at that. If I carry out their plans, however, everyone pays attention. They'll have no choice. And then afterwards, expose the cunts. The ones pulling the strings. The ones who built the fucking bomb. What a corp. I'll be a terrorist and a murderer, but so will they. And they have a lot more to lose. Lucky for me, they've been arrogant and sloppy. That's how I found out. And they've left evidence for someone to... E-N-N-I-N-G. Penning. The chamber was swapped out before I could... And track this part back to Watikorp. Decrypt this message with a dead drop signal embedded in the local hardwire, which will be triggered the moment my iris goes dark. I'll have to trust that the right people will follow the right signals down into the underground. I'm... I'm truly sorry that people are going to get hurt. Killed. I wish there was some other way. I just don't know what I can... Jesus. I can't believe Nella did what she did. The people she hurt, killed. I can't tell Hannah the truth, she'll just blame herself. We have to get Watty for this, or those people will have died in vain. Most of it was garbled, but Watty's involved. Nella confirmed it. And there was one word, or maybe a name, Penning. A code name of some sort. I don't know, there's no wire access, so we can't look it up. Maybe Mira can restore the rest of the recording. If anyone can, it'll be her. If it helps establish a connection between Manifesto and Watty Corp... She can help us connect the dots. And it's a safe place for me to dream. Let's head to the warehouse. I don't know how long Abby will be able to hold off the troops. Will she be okay? She's resourceful. And smart. Hey, where are you going? Don't leave me! I've forgotten about this other world until just recently. That's what all this is about? Parallel worlds? Sort of. There's something happening. In this world and the other, that threatens the dream. The dream? It's what keeps reality real. Without the dream, things stop existing. It's like a blueprint for everything. That makes as much sense as anything else, I guess. And you need to fix it. I have to. Watercorp and the Dream Machine play a part on this side of the Divide. I need to find out what's going on on the other side. Is there anything I can do here? If there is, I'll let you know. 
For now, I need a dream machine that can't be tracked or shut down remotely. What is this place? I don't actually know. Parts of it are really old, but those luminescent tubes... I wonder if they have something to do with the knot vents above. Knot vents? Something Queenie said. There's something odd about all of this. I feel weird, like my bones are vibrating. We're close. Come on. Why is my skin... Jesus. I am fading. London's warehouse is the next door over. This is it. Hold on, I'll open the door. Just follow my lead and I'll... Fuck! Eyes! Go ahead, I'll distract them. The hell you will! You wouldn't last a minute. I'll take care of the stormtroopers. You get the antimatter device and your dream machine. But I don't... We're wasting time. You need to do this. Look for a blue box with the letters D-E-W on it. Due. That's all I remember. Grab an antimatter chamber, scan it, download the tracking information from their systems, and get the hell out of Dodge. But don't open this door from your side. Wait for me. When it's all clear on this side, I'll open it again. Okay? I'm not... Yeah. Okay. Blue box, due. Good luck. Never needed it. See you soon. They keep the dreamers over on that side of the warehouse. I have to find a way to get there, unseen. Dew. This sounds like the right section. He's in the worst possible place. I need to get him away from there. Mr. London's a compassionate man, Sozie. He don't like to hurt no one. Not unless he has to. It pains him, see? Pains him deep. But compassion has its limits, and you've reached it. You're just making this harder for everyone. Look, Mr. London's heartbroken. He's got tears in his eyes, he has. You don't have to be like this, Sozie. Go on, make it easier on yourself. Confess, die with dignity, and let's all move on. This is a fully equipped facility. That scanner should provide me with all kinds of useful information about London's merchandise. It's Shipbot. What's he doing here? Shipbot, what are you doing here? I don't know nobody by that name. They wiped you. Those monsters. Well, to be honest, I understand why they wiped you, but still, it's a shame. You had personality. Hey. I have a personality. I prefer the old one. And I can't believe I just said that with a straight face. Come on, Sozie. Mr. London's getting angry. You won't like Mr. London when he's angry. Close one, sir. That was a close one. And you got lucky there, mate. Mr. London never misses. Unless it's on purpose. Assad Robotics presents the Acidron Stealth Personality Module. Now booting. Ready to perform any action you need, ma'am. Ready to talk. 
Grab that box for me. Yes, mate. Everyone's tired. Let's end this now. Mr. Lavin must have taken a liking to you, Sozy. What? It's a sign. Own up. I can put a bullet in your head, and we can all go home. Well, except you, of course. Did that box just move? On its own? No, I didn't see that. I have to stop smoking. Ready to talk now. I tried my best, ma'am, but I'm afraid I don't have the strength to even to leave the crate. The box is too heavy, and my power reserves are being rooted to the cloaking Mr. system. Must have taken a liking to you, Sozy. It's a sign. Own up. I can put a bullet in your head, and we can all go home. Well, except you, of course. Aside Robotics presents Hallgot. For all your moving needs, booting. Please stand by. Not anything you need to move. Lifted. Hog. Plugged. Come and boss. I ain't got time to waste. Shipbot's been wiped and reformatted. Can you get me that box? You got it, boss. Hannah told me to look for, but there are tons of boxes labeled due. Which is the right one? Penning. That sounds familiar. Nella's recording. Last chance. That's the code name she mentioned. Gonna get worse the you hold out. I really, huh? really hope this is it. Right, you think that hurt? Wait until the next one. Or you can tell us what we need to know. We'll kill you. There's no more pain and suffering. What do you say? Asad Robotics presents the Acid Anthro and Catch Personality Module, designed for holes in play. Now booting. Stand by. Last chance, mate. Hey, chat. What's up? Wanna play some ball? No? Right, you think that hurt? Wait until the next one. Or you can tell us what we need to know. We'll kill you, and there's no more pain and suffering. What do you say? This is it. For Nella's sake, I hope. Yes! It's an antimatter chamber. This is it! And where did it... Watticorp. They're made by Watty, and London got them straight from the factories in China. It's all here, the whole manufacturing and shipping chain. It's just like Nela said. Those arrogant pieces of shit. We're gonna nail them for this. like they have an alarm system, probably to stop people from stealing any of London's hard-earned loot. Ah, oh, bleeding hell. That's the third time this week we've lost power. 
Yeah, da. I thought the corpse guaranteed we would be cut off. Lee, check the power box. Chow, do a full sweep. Make sure we don't have any unwelcome visitors. Human female. Shitbot, you're back. Technically, I never went anywhere. I'm just happy to hear your voice again. Why? Because... No, that, that's a good question. I have no response to that. So, so how did you... <gasps> shit! Someone's coming! Shit, shit, they're gonna find me! I can't contribute! I will distract these humans and ensure your continued survival! Are you sure? Thanks, Shitbot, I appreciate it. Remember me! I don't think I could forget you, even if I tried. Oh, thank God. I was sure they got you. Oh, it was close. Did you get everything? I think so. This is it, right? The antimatter. That's it. Be, uh... Be careful with that. If it breaks... Yeah, I'm painfully aware of what happens when an antimatter bomb goes off. I didn't get this dermal patch and hairdo by choice. So, where to now? The Pandemonium. Mira. Follow me. We'll take a shortcut. All clear. Come on. We're right next to the Pandemonium. Petal? What the hell is going There's on? There's no time. I need what your... What are you doing here with... Shut up! For once, please shut up and just listen. Okay. I'm listening. I need your help. Everything depends on it. Now I really am listening. And I'm also intrigued. The Eye broke into my apartment. They tried to arrest me. Or kill me. This is Hannah. She rescued me. Hey. We've met. What the fuck did you do? Maybe it's because I connected to Dreamtime and they know who I am and what I can do. What you can... Never mind that. We have evidence what is behind the terrorist attack. What in the fuck? Check this out. Are you insane? You brought a mother-choding anti... The same antimatter that was used in the attack. Manifesto was framed. That device right there connects Watticorp to the bombing. Oh, those fucking mother -jords. I can run an analysis on this, compare it to the readings from the bombing, but how do you connect the two? Here's a tip. If you ever plan on running a criminal empire, skip the paper trail. Will this be enough to nail Watty for the attack? Naila left something for us. A recording. It's been mangled, but we figured you might be able to- Fix it? Probably. I'll take a look. But without wire access, I'm not sure how useful it will be. Good thing we found a live access point in the tunnels. You did what? How long were you guys down there? Hannah will show you how to get there. I need to enter dream time again. For real, this time. Like I told you earlier, Petal, I don't have any unlicensed dream machines. If you hook up using a normal dreamer, they'll probably track you down again. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Well, fuck me. An unlicensed dreamer. What else do you have in there? A rabbit? A dozen white doves? I need to use this now, and I need to do it here. I have nowhere else to go. So is this going to bring down Watticorp and fuck all the right people in all the right halls? You'd better believe it. You can use the sofa. It's gonna look like I'm just sleeping, but if I'm right, if I... if I remember correctly, I'll be going somewhere else. Don't wake me or disconnect me. I just need to know that I'll be safe here. As safe as anyone can be in Propass, Petal. I promise. Watch over me. I made a promise. Right. Here we go. See you all soon. What the mother Jordan? what? Uh, where'd she go? Well, this shitty shitting shit just got real.
I've been here before. Crow? Ah! Ah! What's the matter? You scared me! You scared me? What are you, what are you doing here? How did you find me? I didn't. I mean, okay, I did. You're standing right there, so technically, yes, I found you. But I wasn't looking. This is my nest. Don't judge. It's a roof over my head. Well, a semi-roof. A roof that once was... Where are we? The Journeyman Inn. I mean, it was once. Now it's a dump. The Journeyman... Oh, of course. What about the innkeeper? Ben Rime. She was nice to me. Dead and gone like everyone else, I suppose. I have to admit, I thought you were dead too. Last time I saw you, poof, vanished. I'm still a bit vague on the details. I don't remember much from last year. Me neither. After your disappearing act, next thing I remember, I was in Sidir. I just got back to Mercuria, which is why, you know, this place. Sadir? Home to the Azadi? Those armored folks with exciting facial hair and a terrible allergy to magic? I remember the Azadi. Being a talking bird in a place where they hunt magicals for sport? Boy, let me tell you, I'm- Maybe later. I need to find a way out of here. Hey, do you remember meeting me in a dream? I remember dreaming about you last night. Wait. How do you know about my dream? It was my dream, too. You're invading my dreams now? Oh. Oh, god of ravens, I hope you didn't see the one with the chickens and, uh... <clears throat> Did Abnaxus say anything more after I left? The lumpy fella who looks like he's been repeatedly beaten with an enormous ugly stick? Yes, he did. To be honest, I can't follow what he says half the time, but it was something to the effect of... Bring her here. You will have brought her here. You will bring her here. You had to have will be... etc, etc, etc. I believe the basic theme was, you know, something about bringing someone somewhere. But don't hold me to that. That place in the dream. Where is it? You're asking me? I have no idea. I had a dream, that's all. It was a big, white space. That could be literally anywhere. I I'm guessing... The North Pole? I don't think that's it. The South Pole? Abnaxus said something about the children of the Purple Mountains. The... the... Ula. Ooh, no. You never heard of them. But the Purple Mountains. Those should be easy to find. Oh, you know where it is? No, but come on. Purple Mountains. Most mountains are gray or white. Not a whole lot of purple ones around. I'm sure they'll be easy to spot. Yeah, no. It sounds like we'll need some help with that. We? Look. I don't know where this we thing came from. I am doing just fine on my own. Also, I definitely don't need another adventure. I'm done with adventures. From now on, I'm an unadventurous bird. No, you go off and find help for yourself. It's nice seeing you again. Anaxus told you to bring me there. In a dream. A dream. If I was going to start taking advice from my dreams, I'd be in a whole heap of troubles. It wasn't just a dream. It was a vision. Dreams, visions, nightmares, hallucinations, they all belong under the same general heading of really bad ideas. Well, I don't have anything else to go on, so I guess that's where I'm heading. The Purple Mountains. It's too grimy to see anything through, but there's daylight and the streets don't look too busy. These are both good things. No handle. I can't open it. There's something up there. Hey, Crow, can you check out that metal thingy up there? What? The door handle I removed in order to get some privacy and... Oh... Seriously? One door handle coming right up. I mean, down.
thought you were staying put. In this godforsaken pigeon's nest? I'm done living like a gnat catcher and not having any adventures. It was fun for a while, but I'm ready to live again. Um, so what exactly is this thing we're doing? Uh, finding someone who can help me get to the Purple Mountains and the first dreamer. And what kind of adventure are we talking about here? A light stroll along safe, well-lit streets, camping out in the woods under mostly clear skies? Facing potentially life-threatening dangers on perilous mountain paths? I'd say that last one is a distinct possibility. Oh, great. That's great. Already regretting this. Is there a plan, or are we just winging it? Boom <laughs> ching. Mm, depends. Are the rebels still around? I've heard mentions of rebels, yes, mostly preceded by cursing and followed by loud calls for slit throats and severed heads. That's our plan, then. Find the rebels. Um, any idea where we can find the rebels? I've only been back a couple of months, and I've mostly been nesting, so... No, no idea. Great. Wait, nesting? Isn't that something only- Stop! Let me stop you right there. And let's never speak of this again. What's this? The journeyman is closed, but all patrons and well-wishers are welcome at the Rooster and Kitten on Irene Avenue near Southgate. And here's a drawing of a rooster and a kitten, just to avoid any confusion, I guess. That's right. A pussy riding a... I mean, a kitten. On a cock. A, a rooster. Is it just me, or is that, uh... Not just you. Good. 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 Well, this is as good a clue as any. To the cock and... The rooster and kitten we go. This is crazy. I'm really, really here. And I remember it all. Well, I remember some of it. Things do look a little different. But, you know, wow, I'm back. And it wasn't a crazy coma dream after all. keep overhearing people talking about the reaping. This must all be part of the harvest celebrations. Relieved when they're finally done with all this construction work. Fear them, the enemy. For they are close. They are everywhere. I have to admit, I'm quite relieved there's less sorcery about these days. It could be. I fit right in with the locals. They're timing it to coincide with the feast of so, reaping. That makes business. sense. If they want, uh, pretty good. I mean. The rooster and kitten. This is it, my first stop. Hopefully someone here will know something about the Resistance. I'm going inside. Wait for me? What else can a free bird do? I need the open sky over my head. Or at least a proper hole in the roof. I'll be right here. Or over there. Where there's cheese and... 
Ooh, is that a bread crust? Don't look at me. I'm not. I'm going in. Festive. Very autumnal feel. I guess this reaping thing is a harvest festival of some sort. Welcome to the rooster and kitten. Hey. Um, greetings. Well, uh, met? What? What? I don't know. I'm foreign. You don't say. From where exactly? I, I'm a traveller myself, but I can't quite place the accent. I'm just going to wing it. South. Southwards, like all the woods, way south, as far as south goes. Nowhere near this place at all. Nowhere south is near here. South goes all the way to the other side of the world. Whereabouts in the south would this be then? The islands? The southlands? Further still? Further. Much further. It's very hot down there. You, you've probably never been. Oh, I enjoy the heat. Even my courier in summer is not enough for me. <laughs> I've travelled the Southlands quite extensively, so maybe I've... Uh... Then you've probably been, yes, but I, I don't like talking about it. Family. Blood. Bad blood. I'm happy to have left all of the bad blood behind me. I see. Well, I wouldn't want to rip open old wounds, eh? So what'll it be today? I'm sorry, what? You know, you're not the first person confused by that question, even though, by all appearances, this is a drinking establishment. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it my demeanor? Do I not appear appropriately barkeepish? No, no, you're absolutely barkeepish. You exude publicanism. Um, drinks. These clothes are warm and itchy and I'm in dire need of refreshments. Do you have something cold and bubbly? Cold? Bubbly? My ale's warm, flat and bitter. You can have a cup full of that. I... sure. Yes. Why not? Are you certain you're in the right place? Not at all. Honesty. Ha! I like it. It's all too rare these days. From your attire and... and well, all of you, I'd say you're probably looking for a place up High Hall. Not down here, Dockside. This is a rough neighbourhood, and... Well, you do stand out in my usual crowd of ne'er-do-wells. And standing out isn't always a good thing these days. I'm certain this place has some connection with the Resistance. I should keep him talking. No, this is my kind of place. I'm into dives. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone said about my pub in a long time. Really? Maybe it's a language thing. So what else can I help you with, young lady? The city has changed quite a bit since my last visit. Fewer... It's been a while since I was here last. What's new? Given your age... Pardon me, I didn't mean to presume. <clears throat> uh, perhaps your last visit wasn't so long ago. Oh... A year and a half, at least. At least? Well, there's no old town anymore. They burned the ghetto to the ground and shipped non-humans off to the islands. Also, the Azadi have built a network of metal tubes. It's everywhere. No one knows what it's for, but there it is. It's supposed to make things uh, efficient. And they finished their tower. It's cordoned off until next week's grand ceremony, but it's an impressive structure. Tallest in all the Northlands, they say. I saw some soldiers on my way here. I wonder if the Azadi still have a big presence in Mercuria. He mentioned something about a ceremony at the tower. What's the grand ceremony about? It's the official unveiling of the tube network. I reckon it's where they'll tell us all about how things will be efficient in the future. The ceremony is taking place next week, on the day of the Feast of Reaping. The emissary probably thought it would contribute to the celebrations. 
Won't make much of a difference to us Mercurians, to be honest. We'll still eat too much, drink too much, and pass out in the gutters when the sun rises. I mean, it's tradition, and tradition must be honoured. I saw some soldiers on my way here. I wonder if the Azadi still have a big presence in Mercuria. The Azadi are still running the city? Oh, they're not. Uh, the council runs the city. The emissary is... Uh, she's an advisor. Her advice is invaluable. Of great value to all of us. Sounds like a good arrangement. And the soldiers everywhere? Uh, for our protection and benefaction. They keep us safe from enemies outside and, and inside. From rebel terrorists and, and the like. There's some sort of festival going on. The reaping? I could use a primer. I keep hearing about the reaping. Reap moon, feast of reaping. I thought this was why you came to Mercuria. Uh, yes, I did. This is the reason for the coming to Mercuria, but I, I didn't read the literature before booking everything and, well... The reaping is the harvest festival. It's when the farmers bring their produce to the city markets. We celebrate this occasion with an entire month of reveling, culminating in the Feast of Reaping on Reap Moon's Eve. It's a giving of thanks to the earth and sky, the balance, the gods and goddesses, for providing food for the dark months ahead. And it's a fantastic excuse for eating and drinking as much as you can stomach. I wonder why they're flying those kites above the city. Are the red kites significant in some way? Kites? You mean the dragons? They're traditional, but it's frowned upon. See, these days they're more of a, a symbol. They represent magic. The balance, the, the drag kin. And they represent resistance to the Azadi, to the new laws to the exile of magicals. If you're caught with a dragon, or even if you stand too close to someone flying a dragon, the guards will arrest you. You will be punished. Best to ignore them and avoid trouble, because that's what those dragons are, trouble. I've only seen humans so far. They used to be blue people, furry people, non-human people. Where are they? Where are all the magical races? Oh, you don't know? Well, you are foreign. Uh, they've been, um, what's the word, repatriated to their original homelands. Well, it's for their own good. Mercuria is a human city now. There's really no need for sorcery anymore. Well, the Magicals are better off in the South, I'm sure. You don't sound convinced. Well, I am sure. This pub was not called the Rooster and Kitten the last time I was here. Didn't this used to be the, uh, the... Oh, the cock and puss. Someone's bright idea of a joke. Oh, we all get it. The cocky cockerel with a permanent frown on his face. Clever wordplay. Look at us, aren't we punny? Yeah, w wait, what? I didn't approve. Too clever for its own good. But the painting of a tiny pussycat with a big smile riding on top of a proud cape on. That idea I could get behind. It's sweet. It's sincere. It's family friendly. It's how I like my clientele to see me. If this place has a connection to the resistance, this man would know. Hopefully he won't kick me out if I ask. What do you know about the resistance? You know, rebels. Rebel movement. The, the magical insurgency? No? We don't discuss terrorists here, madam. Oh. Right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I was just curious. Tell you what. There's someone you might want to talk to over in the smithy in City Green. It's on the far side, close to the gate into the bones. Go knock on the door. Tell them you're there to inquire about the library. But now I'm afraid I have some work to do. I've been neglecting my other customers for too long. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for all your help. I got a lead on the Resistance. While I'm looking into that, there's something I want you to do. A mission. Mission is my middle name. No, that's not true. It's Edward. Nope, also a lie. I just always wanted to be an Edward. I need a bird's eye view of things. Are you trying to get rid of me, Zoe? Of course not, but I'll feel much safer if you're watching out for me up there while I'm following up on our lead down here. I feel a swelling in my chest cavity that can only mean one thing. Pride? No, an imminent burp. But I will do this thing that you ask of me, and I will feign pride if you need me to. <sighs> Knock yourself out. Geronimo! Except in reverse! A minareg! So, how's business? Uh, pretty good. I mean, pretty good. I must admit that I'm getting right out. I mean, farmers bring food. In. Ye old smithy. No, that's not what it says. It just says blacksmith. This is not a renaissance fair, Zoe. No magical medieval town without a blacksmith. That much I know. Hello, I'm here about the... the library. I know, it's a weird opener, but I was told that this is... Okay. We're going inside. Harmy knows. Knows what, exactly? That Kian is alive. And Shadow knows what else he told the General. They spoke. My men saw the General entering the engine room in the green. Alvani was spotted leaving the house soon after. They were alone in there with one of the engineers. Ferdows, I believe his name is. He's nowhere to be found. Harmy must have stowed him away somewhere. A witness. So he knows that you've lied to him? Oh, he will not confront you with this yet. Not until he knows why and what we're planning. Yes, Army is as clever as a rock snake and twice as deadly. We need to get rid of him. Mother Utana, too. He must have told her. They're thick as thieves. The only question is, have they informed the first? Not without more evidence. There's still time. You're speaking of assassination. What else would you suggest? We crossed the line long ago, Vamon. There's no way back. I can't just walk into Harmy's cell and cut his throat. It needs to look like an accident. The ceremony. It's a week from now. We can't afford to wait. We can't afford to be hasty. Until he has concrete evidence of our treachery, the General will continue his investigations. The ceremony, then. We kill them both and make it look like the work of the Resistance. But if he acts before then, I need to be ready. I need to inform those who are loyal to... Hush. Come here, my sweet. Don't worry. We will survive this. We always survive. We've worked too hard to fail now. The engine will be ours. The Northlands will be ours. 
The General's men will pull back to Azadir. The Council will not mount another campaign. They cannot afford it. They lack the support of the people. And then we return in triumph, carrying the light of the Goddess, and we destroy our enemies. We rule Azadir, as we've always planned. We will not fail, my love. I will be Empress, and you, my supreme commander. This is the will of the Goddess. I know it is. I know it. say something you are the resistance right you know instead of abducting me you could have just asked nicely I would have come with you I wanted to come with you not talking fine take me to your leader I've always wanted to say that Shepard's busy she'll talk to you later so now you are speaking to me good I'd like to wait I remember that man, isn't that- Stop talking. Keep walking. But I know him- Shut up. Absolutely not. No. You cannot leave Mercuria now. If you go to Guillaume- What if they find you? They'll kill you. So they kill me. I understand the risks, Enu. I know you want to protect him, but he is one child. If you end up dead, what do we do? You carry on. You're stronger now. You can fight them. You know that's not true. The General has brought more troops from Azadir. Our situation is precarious. I'll go with him. And make sure he stays alive. What? You will not. And we lose the both of you? We lost enough of our people when Old Town burned. If Kian had done his duty, those people would still be with us. If you'd listen to me, they'd still be with us. Torture isn't the only road to truth, Dolnari. Isn't that one of your sayings? Boys, I'm as soft-hearted as a zidling schoolgirl, and Bip's my friend too, but... I agree with Shepard. We can't risk it. It's not just about the boy. If I go to Guillen, to the camps, I will find evidence of what they're doing to the Magicals. And if General Hami and Mother Otana learn the truth of what's being done to innocent creatures, perhaps they'll... Creatures? He didn't mean it like that. Right, Kyung? You didn't mean it like that. He's shown that he doesn't consider magicals to be people. We still remember that child molesting Azadi officer you let go. People. Women, children, the defenseless. If Hami and Otana learn the truth, they may have a change of heart. They may pull their support. We can't win this war on our own. Vermon and Sire are too strong. With Hami's men on their side, they'll be unbeatable. But if we undermine this support, even if Hami does not join our side, our chances will improve. Force me to stay, and we only delay the inevitable. Let me go, and we could win this war. <sighs> You don't make it easy for me to lead, Kian. But maybe it's time I let you make the decisions. I won't stand in your way. I don't like this one bit. When are you leaving? Right away. If I can sneak on board a cloud ship leaving for the islands tonight. Which means there's not a lot of time. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Go be a hero or whatever. You're not leaving without me. You're needed here, Liko. Those prisoners? They are my people. Imprisoned by mine. This is almost certainly a suicide mission. If the Resistance loses us both, they stand no chance against the Tower. 
If you die, I will celebrate your death. But I will never be their leader. You've proven yourself. They need you. Go and stay alive for them, for all of us. You still plan to kill me after? Of course. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. They're bringing magicals through that gate and onto the cloud ship. That cloud ship's headed to Guillen with a new batch of prisoners. I must get on board. When's this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the magicals, then? From the ghetto, yeah. I mean, there are still stragglers. Uh, I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not animals. That's disgusting. Oh, well, they're not really animals, are they? I mean, they're, like, intelligent. At least some of them. No, they're filthy animals. Good riddance to them. I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the Magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. He's not paying attention. I could probably sneak up on him. Keon? Where are you? Oh, no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families sent away to die, forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was, I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every Magical on your own? Take on the entire Azadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't, except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. What, well, that's it? I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. 
Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vermon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana, and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years, until I was, uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was... a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew, from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're a Zadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine! I'll help them. You're not pulling away this time. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I... don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kianavane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. Stay right there. You're under arrest. Kian! Do not leave without me! Quick, pull me up! I could use his help on this mission. Take my hand! Hold on! Why did you pull me up? You begged me to. You're infuriating. Because I pulled you up? Because you continue to give me no reason to hate you. Aside from murdering your father in front of you. Well, aside from that...
Zoe. Zoe? 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 Shoo, bird. Oh, shoo yourself, you big hairy lug. What in Charles' name? I know you. You arrived with that Stark girl yesterday. You're her bird. Her bird? I am my own bird, I'll have you know. Her bird. Pfft, the nervous on people. Besides, I lost her. She done gone vanished on me. I am, it seems, an expert at misplacing beautiful young women. She's not misplaced. She's with... The Resistance. The Resistance. So she did find the Rebels. And she didn't think to tell me. Well, some friend she turned out to be. Well, to be fair to the girl, it wasn't entirely... Uh, uh, voluntary. What do you mean? They kidnapped her. Crow to the rescue! Uh... So, where exactly did they kidnap her to? I'm not supposed to... Well, I reckon the chances of you being an Azadi spy are rather remote. And that poor girl could probably use a friend. Do you know the old Sentinel Library outside the city? It's in ruins now, but beneath it, in the Enclave, you'll find your girl. Unless they took her head, in which case... Hold on, Zoe! Hold on to your head! I'm on my way! I trust you got some sleep last night? I would have, if you guys believed in bedsheets and pillows. You are fortunate to be alive, girl. Who are you? Why do you ask questions about the Resistance? I'll keep it simple. I'm Zoe. I need your help. Our help? With what? I didn't know who else to ask. I need to get to the Purple Mountains. I don't know where that is. What about the Ular? I'm sorry. Abnaxis? Of the Venar? I have heard of the Venar, but they left the Northlands. And Abnaxis? Maybe a whisper? Long ago? Nothing more. I cannot help you. Oh, damn. Is there anyone here who would know? Perhaps. But you haven't answered my question, girl. Why should we help you? For all I know, you're an agent of the Azadi. No, I'm... Zoe! She's Zoe! Balance. Don't you dare touch her head. She's on an important mission! I see. And who are you? Crow! Honorary rebel, long-term avian buddy, and occasional sidekick of April Ryan. Rebel leader, adventurer, hero, savior of the balance. That's right! Here's Crow. This is him. I'm me. So... Where's April? She can vouch for Zoe. They're best friends, tight as two chicks in a nest. I don't see April. Is she out on a mission, or sleeping in, or...? Why are you both looking at me like that? I... I thought you knew. Knew what? What's going on? What? April Ryan is dead, Bird. She was assassinated during an Azadi raid on Miria, the winter before last. 
She died a hero's death and was given a hero's burial. We remember her fondly. What? I'm so, so sorry. Crow! Crow! Okay, I'm an idiot. I've heard of this bird. Crow. So, you knew April Ryan? We met a couple of times. I... I was there when she died. I found her. I tried to save her, but... I couldn't. So, yeah, I guess I knew April. You're the Stark girl. The one who dreams. They spoke of you. Bakim, Bryn, Chawan. They said you were one of us. Oh, this certainly changes things. But how did you... He's gone. Of course he's gone. I should have seen that coming. It's not like he could just let Kian go without... Ugh, he's such a... Oh. Oh. Hey. Uh, your hair. It's so pretty. Thanks. Who's gone, Enu? What? Oh, oh, Liko. He vanished in the middle of the night, chasing Kian, of course. Idiots, the both of them. Maybe this is for the best. If Liko can help Kian... Kian? Big Azadi guy. People call him the Apostle. You know him? We met once, briefly. He was kind to me. But isn't he the enemy? Was. He's with us now. Defected. Uh, yep. Well, except that he abandoned us again to go on a crazy suicide mission He to... left last night. Of course. After everything that's happened, we just miss each other. Uh, oh, Enu. This is... Zoe. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Enu. You're so pretty. Uh, that came out wrong. Wanna be friends? Oh, sorry. Zoe needs our help. She has questions. Maybe you of can... Of course! No problem. Leave this to me, Shepard. I'm... Sorry for questioning you, Zoe. And I'm sorry I could not be of any assistance. Please, stay. Speak with Enu and the others. Perhaps someone here has the answers you're looking for. Thank you, Shepard. Where are you from? Your clothes are amazing. Where did you get them? They came with the jump. I'm from Stark. That's... Across the divide, on the flip side of the balance, the world of science. Are you serious? That's incredible! I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I'm... I am seriously worried my head might explode. I think I need to sit down. Oh, don't explode. I'm not that special. I mean, you're orange, and the ears... Uh, I'm just a boring old zid. It's totally normal. Holy crap, Stark. I can't believe it. How did you get here? Are you a... are you a shifter? A dreamer. I just... dream myself here. Just dream yourself here. That's it. No biggie. You are the best thing I have ever seen, seriously. Really? Okay, thank you. So, what do you need help with? Shepard said... I'm trying to find the Purple Mountains, and a tribe of magical creatures called the Ula, someone, a Venar named Abnaxus, told me Whoa, to... Whoa, slow down. Okay, Purple Mountains, Ular, Venar, Abnaxus, right? Nope, none of that sounds remotely familiar. I have never heard any of those words before. Of course, there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm a... I mean, I was a farm girl. A silly ziddling. There's so much I don't know. But I do know where to look for answers. Oh? Where? The library. The library holds all the answers. Do you have libraries in Stark? Never mind, silly question. Of course you don't. I'll go to our library right now and start looking. Purple Mountains, Ular, Abnaxis of the Venar. Come find me when you're ready. I can't wait to spend more time with you. Ugh. Sorry. A round table? Check. Chivalrous knights? Check. Magic? Check. That's right, this would make for a great theme restaurant. They kept me locked up in one of those cells all night. This may not be a prison, but it's not far from it.
I believe that mural depicts this place. The Enclave. Apparently, it used to be a library. What's he doing? He looks nervous. Should I interfere or wait until he's done? That's the guy who put a bag over my head. Hey. God, you gave me a fright. I, I was just... I mean, I, I'm not... Are you supposed to be walking around on your own? This doesn't look right, but I probably shouldn't be snooping. He looks guilty. What's going on here? Is this your room? Well, we don't... You know, we don't have our own rooms. Anyway, Keen's gone. I was just looking for... Um... It's Zoe, is it not? I'm Jakai, Ben Rima Salman's nephew. She said some very nice things about you. You'll have to give her my regards. How is Ben Rime? I noticed the journeyman was closed down. Yeah, she's in Coldstone. They arrested her for colluding with the resistance. She was sentenced to ten years in the dungeons. I don't know if she'll survive that. Anyway, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that you're back in town. I'm sorry about your aunt. Yes. Thank you. I don't know what I'll do without her. She's the only family I have. I'm... Look, I have to go into town on an errand now, but please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. They look ready to go to war. I hope they won't have to. Shepard, leader of the rebels. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. She scares me a bit. I wish I could have been more helpful and inviting. If I'd known... I understand. You have to be cautious. There's much I'd like to ask you. Much I'd like to learn. But with Kian gone, my workload has increased twofold. Perhaps another time, when we're both not so preoccupied. I'd like that. I don't know what your mission is, but I have a feeling it's important, and that our destinies are entwined. We shall speak again, Zoe Castillo. When the winds have quieted, the clouds have parted, and the grass on the Great Plains stands straight and tall once more. A white dragon. There's only supposed to be one of those at any given time. I met the current one. She was beautiful and eccentric. They add color to the place, if nothing else. Enu's really weird and very sweet, and I like her a lot. Naxus, Purple Mountains, Ular. Ula, 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 I have ula, to resist ula. this intense oh, desire something. to stroke no. her yellow fur. I don't think that'd be kosher. There must be something in one of these books that'll help you find what you're looking for. I'm gonna keep looking until I find it. Oh, give me a little more time. I'm still searching. I'm sure I'll find something useful. Eventually. So many books. Which makes sense, given that this used to be a library. I'm so, so sorry, Crow. I thought you knew. It's fine. It's not your fault. I just can't... I can't believe she's gone. But I sort of knew, you know. I felt it in my heart. And that final time we were together, it wasn't... It wasn't like it used to be. It was weird. 
Like too much time had passed and we drifted apart. I should have known it wouldn't last. He's not alone in feeling that. I know that feeling. It's something you just have to learn to live with. I know. I will. Were you there when she... I witnessed the whole thing. But should I tell Crow that? Perhaps better to avoid the topic and get him thinking about other things. No, I... They said it was quick. I'm sure she didn't suffer. She was already suffering. April was lost after she saved the balance. We wandered the same paths for a while, had some adventures, saw some sights, but then... Things happened, and we lost each other. Anyway, did I help with, you know, the rebel thing? Did they believe you, that you're not a spy? You did. They do. It's fine now. They'll help us. Good, good, good. They're not gonna cut your head off? What? No? Good, good. I wish I could have been more helpful, but it was ten years ago, and I didn't really pay attention to what April said about that Abnaxis chap. It's okay. If you don't mind, I need to be alone for a little while. Clean my feathers, sharpen my beak, reflect on the nature of life. Bird stuff. Totally understand. I'll find you in the city. Abscesses. Ooh, nope. That's a different type of ab. I've been trying to find a book or a scroll or a manuscript or map or torn note page or ancient magical tome or pamphlet or a piece of cloth that mentions the purple mountains or the ular, but no luck. It's really frustrating. This library has never let me down before. Bad library! She seems so curious about me, and I haven't asked her a single question. Enu, right? I don't feel we were properly introduced. I know you are. I mean, no, uh, yes. <clears throat> you're right. Enu. I am Enu. I hope you're staying a while. It would be so great to have someone around who's not a surly warrior with mommy issues, or a stoic leader, or a battle-hardened soldier, or just batshit insane. I mean, there's Jakai. He's pretty normal, except for his aunt issues, but he's a bit too... Ugh. Hey, so, uh, what do you do when you're not saving the world? Neural programming. I mean, I did. Then my world shut down, and now I just watch a lot of shows and eat. Uh, uh sorry. Didn't understand any of that, but it was still amazing. Tell me again? Maybe next time? I can't wait to talk more about all these things we have in common. We must have a sleepover! This is where I try to connect and make friends. You just joined the Resistance? Oh, yes. Uh, no. Not really just. About half a year ago? Wait, more than that. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, fun. Sometimes you need to make the best out of a bad situation. Right. And it's my duty. We're doing good, important work here. Also, I didn't want to end up living the life my parents wanted for me. I can identify with that. This is so nice. I wish we were sisters. Can we be sisters? You don't have to answer that. Um, do you have any siblings? I did. Uh, sort of. Long story. You? Oh, lots. Boyfriend! Do you have one of those? I do. I think. We haven't spoken in a while, and he doesn't know. I think we need to have a long talk when I... If I get back home, it's been a very tough year for the both of us. I was asleep for a long time. I forgot a lot of the stuff that happened to me before I fell asleep. I tried to remember, but I couldn't, until my memories caught up with me. Oh, 
Jesus. It's a long story. Very complicated. Maybe another time? Yes, uh, please? There must be something here. So, no luck? Nothing. Sorry. And I've read most of these before. I can't remember coming across any of those words you mentioned. There's not much else to do here in the evenings except read. I don't really have any female friends. It gets lonely. Anyway, I've been through all the encyclopedias and travelogues, but... Nothing about the Purple Mountains or the Ula? Nothing. I mean, the Purple Mountains sounds colloquial. It may have a different name officially, but the Ular, there should be something about them. It's a magical race? They didn't look human. Weird, there's nothing about them. They must be very isolated, or... Or? Or someone's trying to hide something. Which would be weird and very hard to pull off. Forget I said that. I'm on a deadline. I should just cut this short. I guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I really thought I'd find something. I feel terrible. I, do you want to be my friend? Oh, I already asked you that. I'm coming on too strong, aren't I? I am, I can tell. Stop it, Enu. No, not at all. That's... I'd love to be friends. And thank you for helping me. Much good that did. I really wish I knew who else could... For the love of the festering demon shrimps of Jaharva, do I have to do everything in this place? I didn't spend all those years living on the streets of Mercuria, pilfering food and liberating fat purses to deal with this shite. I swear I'd be better off going back to sleeping in Abnaxus's stone tree if I can't even get a mattress that isn't flea and maggot infested. Do your bleeding jobs, people. Is that too much to ask? That guy looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure where I... <gasps> Blind Bob? Eh? What? Who's asking? Well, blessed be me straight britches. You're the last what brought me mulled wine back when I'd hit rock bottom in Mercuria. What in the name of the eight-hide octo-god of Tartillus are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Except for, you know, uh, not, not those words, exactly. Oh, I left me life of beggaring behind. Cleaned myself up. Joined the resistance. I'm a general now. I'm making a difference. He was theoretically blind, but now he can see. It makes less and less sense the more I think about it. What happened to your theoretical blindness? Cured! I was blind, theoretically, but now I can see. To be honest, some days I wonder if I ever was theoretically blind. Or if it was all hypothometaphysical. You know, just in my head, like. Oh, um... It was simpler being blind Bob and resorting to beggaring and vagrancy than taking a long, hard look at myself in a speculum. Particularly on account of the blindness. I wish me old pa could have lived to see me. He always believed in me, even when I didn't. To the bitter end, he told me I had potential. I nodded and wept and promised him I'd try my best. Then, as he drew his last ragged breath, I stole his purse and his breeches. Well, Pa, I'm sorry about the breeches. I'm making something of life now. Making something of myself. I'm no longer blind, Bob. Call me Bob who can see. General? Are you an actual general? Aye. See these stripes? General Bob, that's me. I takes care of the logic sticks round here so the place don't crumble to pieces. Shepherd's busy with the strategering. Kian sorts out who to murder and how. Liko makes a fine job of being contrary. And Enu keeps everyone's spirits up. I mean, when she's not shooting Azadi soldiers in their eyeballs with her bow and arrow. Me, I make sure the ladder's stocked, the sheets are clean, relatively speaking, and that the piss pots are empty. Can't go to war on a full bladder. I just can't imagine how the blind Bob I met in Mercuria turned into this man. It's an impressive transformation. How did you end up with the rebels? Not long after you and I met, 
I overdosed on mulled wine. Spooked me good, that did. I figured I had two choices. Either spend the remainder of my days in the gutter, stinking of foreign spices and currants, and, to be honest, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of days left. Or I could clean myself up, try to amount to something after a lifetime wasted on wine, women, and various gutters. The moment I looked up, I saw how the Azadi were running magicals out of Mercuria. I couldn't ignore it. It was disgraceful. I mean, magicals always treated me with kindness and respect. I felt I owed them. So, here I am, doing my part and paying my debts. Aside from the gambling and the bar tabs, mind you. And I feel twenty years younger to boot. Didn't he just mention Abnaxus? Or was that my imagination? Do you know someone called Abnaxus? Abnaxus? Now there's a name I haven't heard spoken in years. Where do you know it from? Sorry, I just overheard... Actually, I met Abnaxus recently. Well, I dreamed about Abnaxus. Or maybe it was more like a vision. This sounds crazy, I know, but... Sounds completely sane to me, lass. Abnaxus turning up in visions, hmm? That's exactly the sort of fellow he was. Persistent, unpredictable, and not a little annoying. I met him when he was the Venar ambassador to Irid. Uh, this was before the gutters, when I was still a dapper chap on the Mercurian party circuit. We hit it off, especially seeing as I was going blind, theoretically, and he saw everything, past, present, and future. Years later, as he was leaving town, he entrusted me with the key to his home, said to take care of it. I'd sleep there from time to time. Very uncomfortable buck. Musty smell of ancient books and foreign weeds. I didn't much care for it, to be honest. I'm sure he said key. And where there's a key? You said something about a key to Abnaxus's house? They called it the Abode back then. Abnaxus's Abode. Primitive accommodations, but luxurious location. Prime real estate. Central, with a garden view. Very quiet at night. And the key? D do you still have it? Sorry, this is really important. Oh, I, I carry it with me every day. After all, it is a magic key. Figured it might do me lumbago some good. What about this house? I mean, the abode? Ah, also still there, and not hard to find. Sits right circle in the centre of the city green. Abnaxus carved it out of a petrified tree with his own morbidly huge hands. A few years ago, the authorities turned it into an historical landmark. Of course, no one can get inside, on account of the Venar magic. Not without the key, at least. This key? Can I... Oh, sure. Heavier than it looks, ain't it? Hmm? More powerful than iron. Worth its weight in precious stones, and then some. This magic goes back to the first magic. None of that modern hocus-pocus. You feel it in your fingers when you hold it. Tingles, don't it? It does. Sorry, I know this is asking a lot, but can I... Borrow it? Why? Why not? It's done the lumbago no good. And I don't have much use for the place, now that I've a proper bug here. But keep it safe. Abnaxus left most of his belongings behind and entrusted me with their care. I'd hate to betray that trust. I promise. I'd love to chat, lassie, but I have duties to attend to. There are piss pots that need empty, and people to command into doing it. You spoke with the General. Did you find what you were looking for? It's a step in the right direction. Good. I've asked them to ready a boat for you. 
Whenever you're ready, it will take you into the city. I may not fully understand your role, Zoe, but there's something about you that... I've learned to have faith in the balance. The balance provides. The balance guides. It's guiding you now. You must let it take you wherever it leads, like a leaf on a river. Bend to its will. I'll try. May your gods favor your journey. You'll be in my thoughts and dreams. Now I need to find the city green. I wish Crow was with me. I feel less alone with that silly bird around. I feel better having Crow around, even though I'm not back. sure what he and can do. And your head's still on. Still. Did you swim? A useless sidekick. Swim? No. Boat. I boated. I mean, they dropped me off in a boat. Impressive. So, what's the next step on our grand adventure? Tea and biscuits? A hearty nap, perhaps? I need to find the city green and the home of Abnaxus. I visit the city green every day to clean my feathers in the fountain. Follow me. I really wish you had wings. So do I, Crow. So, how's business? Uh, pretty good. I mean... I fit right in with the locals. How? I mean... How's your memory coming along? Do you remember anything about this place now? I worked so hard to remember, but... No, not much. It was winter. True. Winter changes everything. What with the snow and the ice and all. And the city looked different. Smaller. It probably has grown a bit. But no, I don't really remember anything at all. Perfectly fine. I also remember very little, but then I am a bird with a bird brain. So what can you expect? They're preparing for a shindig of some kind. Any celebration that involves burning large sacks of hay is guaranteed success in my book. Oh, pyres for celebrations or human sacrifices. One of the above. It looks golden berry conserve. That looks scrumptious. What's going on here? Isn't that... Are they trying to chop down Abnaxus's abode? Great. That's great. So this is it. A boat of, uh, big ugly thing what speaks funny? Apparently so. And there's someone else here. Apparently so. Huh. Once this unholy tree's been knocked down, the electric will take me seriously. They'll see I have the power to get things done. Maybe then I can stop licking the asses of the Azadi. Goddess this and goddess that. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth, sucking up to their feminine deity. Give me a world without gods and goddesses, a world ruled by humans and true Northlanders. No magicals, no supernatural women folk, no superstitious invaders. Ah, a member of the voting public. Uh, I honor Hilaris Esquire to your service, madam. But uh, I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself to you, hmm? You've seen my face in print and in public appearances. You know me as an honourable and truthful fellow who stands with the common man. And woman. We shan't forget the common woman. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, of course, running for Commissioner of City Watch, a position sorely and desperately in need of new blood. The watch needs strength. It needs direction. It needs humanity. In other words, it needs me. Let's see if I can get him talking about himself. He sounded more than happy to do so. It's Hilaris, right? Oh, no, Hilaris Esquire, licensed solicitor, and your candidate for Commissioner of City Watch. It's an unusual name. It's unique, certainly, but it's a Northlander name with deep roots in Mercurian society. My father, the esteemed Hubert Hilaris Esquire, served dutifully for many years on the council. He was respected, feared, and admired by all. Of course, th that was before he was beguiled by that Dolmare witch. She used her wily sorcery and beastly sensuality to lure my father away from his family. Away from... from us. I've sworn to restore our sacred heritage. The witches shall burn, humanity shall prevail, and the name Hilaris shall no longer be the butt of spiteful jests. He's gunning for a political position with the City Watch. I wonder what his end game is. You're running for City Watch? Indeed, the Watch is in dire need of strong male leadership in this time of dark crisis. Male? As you well know, the current Commissioner, a person of the female persuasion, has failed to maintain order in the city in these dark, trying times. She's been soft on sorcery, magnanimous with magicals. She's indulged the occult, and she's extended an open hand to non-humans, acting in discord with our foreign benefactors. Oh, it's understandable she's weak. She's sentimental. She's merely a woman, and she's not been able to properly inspire the men of the Watch to take appropriate action against our occult immigrants. As soon as I'm elected, this will change. We will honor Azadi law and make Mercuria pure again. No more magic, no more magicals. And our women folk can once again return to home and hearth to be pampered and protected by their husbands, fathers and brothers. As it should be, yes, yes. He appears to be an Azadi supporter. I wonder how genuine it is. I take it you're happy with the Azadi occupation? No, 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 I wouldn't call it an occupation, not anymore. The Azadi came to save us from the Tyrant invaders and they stayed to protect us against all magicals. They're our benefactors, not our oppressors. But the resistance has put us all at risk. Unless we re-establish human dominion over the Northlands, we'll be vulnerable when the Azadi eventually return to Azadir. For believe me, they will. Oh, they've promised as much. This is not their land, and this is why I run for office. To build a Mercuria by and for humans, one that can stand the test of time and stand up against occult invaders. We must invest in the future, and you can't spell future without owner Hilaris. It looks like they're trying to destroy Abnaxus's abode. Why are you trying to knock down this tree? Well, it's not just a tree. It's an affront to common decency and humanity. This so-called domicile was the dark and dangerous den of one of the most militant of magicals. An abominable beast that threatened our young and our women by its mere existence. Eradicating this occult stone tree from our historic green is not just my election promise to voters, but my God's given responsibility as a human being. Ugh, I've had enough. Well, best of luck with everything. Luck is the lazy man's excuse for failure. Luck is an occult idea. I create my own destiny, young madam, and so should you. Here's my advice to you. Find yourself a decent human husband and start breeding decent human babies. This is how you can best contribute to our common manifest destiny. And remember, a vote for honor is a vote for humanity. Go on, put your back into it, man. This is pathetic. It's merely a tree.
Crow, could you fly over there for me? Why? Just trust me. Why? Jesus, please, Crow. Fine. Pardon me for wanting to play a role in my own destiny. I'll do it. Again? Seriously? Ugh. Fine. I wish I had wings. I could just fly to the Purple Mountains. You're on a boat! After I get some proper magic. directions. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. What? Again? What kind of shoddy job are the Azadi doing when there are still talking birds flapping about? They should provide us with a few of their explosive sticks so that we can take matters into our own hands and eradicate this sorcerous plague. That God's damn talking bird! Magical aberration! If I get my hands on a filthy feathered thing, I'll twist it, scrawny little... <laughs> ah, language, language. What can I do for you, young madam? Let's play this nice and cool, Zoe. About that talking bird that's bothering you. Yes, what about it? I just saw it. Where? Where? Go look for that goddamn bird over there. Are you doing this just to annoy me? Because it's working. Soft-headed fool! <sighs> we'll need to carry him home to have someone look at his head. The tree can wait until tomorrow. You do the carrying. I'd do it myself, but someone needs to lead the way and keep an eye out for, uh, potholes. That was brilliant! First, I did my thing, and then that goofball tried to hit me with a rock, and then stuff happened, and Dung for Brains got knocked out, and then they all left! End scene. It was almost like one of those puppet shows that Wizard puts on in the square. It was hilarious! I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's the most fun I've had since... since... I don't know, I guess since I hung out with April all those years ago. This place looks a lot bigger on the inside. It is a lot bigger on the inside. Okay, this is freaky. I feel dizzy. There must be magic here because this makes no sense. Things can't be bigger on the inside than on the outside. Then again, why should I be surprised? I've seen weirder things. Weird is my new normal. Right, so, clues. It's a map of the Northlands, and the border mountains are right at the top, but no purple mountains. Lots of other mountains, though. Oh, that's interesting. Someone's... Who's... Oh, God. I must apologize, ma'am. I didn't mean to frighten you. Zoe Castillo. You're the last person I expected to find here. I remember him from my last visit to Mercuria. Brian, right? Right. <laughs> Brian. Brian Westhouse. <laughs> we spent a few days in cramped quarters on a small airship. I'd be surprised if you didn't remember me. It's been a confusing year. For a while, I remember nothing. 
Even when I tried my best to remember, I couldn't. Well, not until now. I know that feeling all too well, Miss Castillo. So you're back in Mercuria, and in this place of all places. How in the name of the balance did you get inside? People have been trying for years, but this house has strong wards. Venar magic, the oldest there is. And now I understand why. It's a treasure trove. Wait, is that the annals of dreaming? Good God, that's a lost treasure. Only five were ever made. I'm not sure I want to tell this man absolutely everything yet. I know my way around wards. So I see. Your talents run deeper than I remember, Miss Castillo. I'm impressed. Pardon my curiosity, but what are you looking for here? Abnaxus himself vanished a decade ago. It's not that I don't trust him, but... I was just curious about what was in here. You know what they say about curiosity, Miss Castillo. It killed the cat? What? No. Uh, curiosity is the doorway to knowledge and wisdom. Looks like I picked the perfect day for a stroll in the green. I was wondering why that odorous Hillerus fellow wasn't still trying to chop this tree down. Now I know. Let's see if we find anything interesting, shall we? Those are some portentous-looking books. I wish I could read them. Interesting. What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. This looks interesting. The first dreamer references in the Annals of Dreaming. Uh, that's this book right here. And the chapter about the first dream. It's certainly a starting point. Let's see what it says. Can you read that book? I've lived in Arcadia for decades, and there hasn't been much to do aside from studying ancient texts, so yes, I can read this book. Let's see, the chapter in question speaks of the Ular. They are said to be Wardens of the Dreaming One, whatever that means. It's a rough translation, the English language isn't quite up to the task. The Ular and the Yete, one people that split into two, that sounds familiar. It says here the Yete left the Purple Mountains to go south to burrow into the ground something about a well of dreams. I mean, I don't know how much of this is true and how much is fantasy or prophecy. It's a, a difficult book to decipher. There's... Also, something about two dreamers becoming one? It's vague. This is almost certainly a prophecy of some sort. The Ular live on Cloud Peak. It's in the mountains of Yedra. Where's that on the map? Ah, there it is. Straight north across the plains, right in the middle of the border mountains. This is an old book, so... I don't know if they still live there. I've never heard of the Ular. They might all be dead. What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. Let's see. There. Cloud Peak, just like the book said. This is it. This shows the way to the Purple Mountains. I'm sure Abnaxus won't mind me borrowing this. I'll return it to him in person. 
if I make it to Cloud Peak. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! That note fell out of the annals when Westhouse turned the pages. This note fell out from the pages of the annals. What's a soulless stone? I'm not sure. The soul stone was taken from Luke's by the warlock Clax. It must be retrieved or the past, present and future will cease to be. That sounds ominous. It does indeed. I don't know about any soul stone, but I'm guessing this Clax fellow does. I wonder if Abnaxus means old Roper Clax. April told me his story. He was a two-bit wizard who resided in a floating castle up north near the border mountains. April said she taught him a lesson. She didn't get into any details, but he lost his castle. Last I heard, he's doing children's theater here in town. Reformed, apparently, if that's a thing a wizard is capable of. Sounds like this soul stone is important. I should get going. Should we...? Would you mind terribly if I stayed here to read these books? Well, this is... it's private property, isn't it? Obnoxious isn't coming back, and I've been itching for a chance to peruse his library for years now. I promise I won't remove anything or make a mess. He might have the best of intentions, but I made a promise to blind Bob. I'd feel awful if anything happened to Obnaxus's abode. I'm sorry, I don't think I can let you stay in here. I'm not sure I need your permission. I... Only joking. <laughs> I understand. I'll take my leave now, Miss Castillo. I certainly hope we'll see each other again soon. Didn't you say something about a wizard and a puppet show? Nope. No, you did. You said something about a show in the square. I did not. Crow. Oh, right, right! Roper Clax's Fingerlings! Man, that show's great. A modern classic. Clax. He's the wizard April Ryan fought. That's right. He was behaving badly, so she fought him and trapped him inside some sort of calculating machine. Pretty clever stuff. Where can I find this puppet show? I'll show you. I feel better having Crow around, even though I'm not sure what he can do. Still, a useless sidekick is better than no sidekick. I, I'm not saying he's useless. If you seek an autograph, you must purchase my book first. It's on sale today. Only... No, sorry. I, I need to talk to you. Talk, hmm? Well, I only have a few minutes before my show begins, but I'm sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. This has to be the right man. You are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Well, that sign, for one. No, th the wizard part. Who told you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, I don't go anywhere near sorcery, not anymore. You should really read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. It's a thrilling story of redemption and romance, of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. 
Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. <laughs> Didn't he and April have some sort of confrontation? Do you remember April Ryan? April Ryan? Oh, yes, of course, absolutely, certainly, naturally. The bit... <clears throat> The brave young woman who came to my castle and stole it and helped me put my sorceress past behind me. How could I possibly forget? He's obviously got some issues with April. I'd be curious to learn more. So, about April. Why, why does everyone want to talk about April Ryan? She was just a weak little human who stumbled onto things she didn't do. <coughs> no, 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 I must apologize. You see, April and I had some disagreements in the past. I'm past that now. I'm a different person. <laughs> As for April Ryan... Yeah, yeah, she suffered an ignoble death at the hands of our Azani benefactors. What a shame. What a terrible, terrible shame. <laughs> it's an odd name for a children's puppet show. The Fingerlings. Ah, my beloved finger puppets, beloved by all children and critics alike. Gilbert Grutton of the Daily Mercurian called my show simply astonishing and wrote that it was quite impossible to look away. I couldn't believe my eyes and like a slow motion cart wreck. You see, the fingerlings represent a revolution in finger puppeteering, or as I call it, fingering, uh, trademark and patent pending. The women in particular are quite ecstatic about it. Stay for the show. I guarantee a good time. I might as well get right to it, seeing as his show is about to begin. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Um... That was a long time ago. In another life, I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. Balance, pardon me? I don't know where that came from. Who? Yaga. The Wicked Witch of the North, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places. She feeds on that stone like a... <coughs> like I said, that's in the past and I've left it all behind long ago. Now, I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theatre. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely after the show. After the show, yes, 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 yes. Toodaloo! Yes, here we go. This is gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and... Well, humans. And you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of... The Fingerlings. Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Roper Klax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free, personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. 
a donation is both appreciated and expected, drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings! Uncrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans. Using only the finest fabrics and natural materials, these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous winch. Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land loved the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't do this! You don't know who I am! Tell it to the magistrate, wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north! Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. 
We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. It's either a cunning plan, or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard, though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Mush, Daisy! Mush! Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. Hello. I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't lose sight of me! How much longer will this journey take? Must be nearly a week now. It's been less than two days, and I'm beginning to regret bringing you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst enemy. How could you possibly have any regrets? And people say you have no sense of humor. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a bond between us. I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I murdered an innocent man during my escape from Friar's Keep. He begged me to, but I still don't know if I did the right thing. When I visited his widow, she only had hate for me. She couldn't understand my reasons for doing what I did. I ran Balse Bakim through and watched him bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so, but many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? What did I gain from these actions? What did it change? What would have been different had I acted differently? All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed. But I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko. And I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? I couldn't tell. And people say you have no sense of humor. They do? We've been through much since then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and... Your immortal soul, because you believe they're misguided. And it cannot be easy being hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant shit. But I respect you, Kian, and I trust you. Trust goes both ways, Liko. Well, I'm taking a nap. This half of the hold is mine. Stick to your side, or I may stab you in my sleep. Don't worry. I've no intention of cuddling up next to you. Kion. 
Are you awake? I wasn't. This has now changed. Did I ever tell you how my society views people like us? I don't believe so. The Dole Antiqua consider themselves tolerant and inclusive in all matters. And yet I've always had to hide who I am from my family and friends. If they knew the truth, I'd be ostracized. Tolerance, it seems, has its limits. But in the Resistance, no one cares. This thing we share? It doesn't change how they feel about us. It's strange. Strange, but liberating. With the Resistance, you are who and what you decide to be. Regardless of color and creed, gender and religion, and... I thought you loved April Ryan. I did. I do, but... Not like that. She was someone I cared deeply about, and always will. But I could never have shared my life with her. I still miss her every day. She gave me strength. Now, I'm going back to sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. A day of sitting in the dark, bickering about who passed gas? Like I said, a long day. Never trust an Elguan, cowardly cows. Oh, something must have spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! Go, or I'll call the others! Whoa, hey there, I'm, I'm friendly and, and unarmed. You're human. You can't be fr... Bird? Crowbird? Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben... Franklin. Ben Bandu. This isn't the same human who accompanied you last time. This is my new human. She's mostly harmless. Say hello, Zoe. Don't be rude. I guess... hello? Hello? Hello. Are you the new Bandu and Bata? Bamboo... What? No, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. So they keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround us. The Yaga. That's it! That's the one we're looking for, right Zoe? The Yaga! You're... you're looking for the Yaga? On purpose? Are you mad? Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. You know the Yaga? She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's... She's mean. Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yaga. Who is she? The... Yaga? She's old. Really old. She's been around since long before my people came to this forest. Once, she had many servants. Witches, warlocks, evil ones. Like in the stories told by the elders. But her servants are all gone now. So she woke up and crossed into our world. She doesn't belong here. But she's lonely and hungry. Hungry. Great. 
Well, we still have to find her. She has the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone? I've heard of the Soul Stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Warlock? Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now. Just like my people. April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all. But then... Then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left here now. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. One day, they'll come back. All the surviving Banda. Until then, I watch over their burrows. And I sing. For them. For all of us. This soul stone. It's important? Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair anyway. Great! I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like that? I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. The Yaga's beyond the ridge. Once you cross that, you're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin, and she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Ben Ben. Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it for dinner? This is what we came here for. If we don't get the Soul Stone- Everyone dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the Feather Gods of old. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through from the beyond. Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then... We'll be back. And I had such a craving for Crispy Squirrel. This is all very grim. I'm expecting an evil queen and a sleeping beauty at any time. Naked, twisting branches blocking what little light there is. Check. Mother of ravens! I don't feel very welcome. I mean, this isn't just a bad sign. It's all the bad signs, all at once, like a grab bag of ill omens. There are plenty of stones lying about. Let's just pick one and pretend it's the They've got that stone. whole it's normal like things that should look quaint and look safe, like. except they look horrifically scary thing, down to a fine art. This looks like one of those pivotal moments where the audience is yelling at the heroine, Don't go through the gate! Are you crazy? Ah! Oh. My tiny bird heart. I have a bad feeling about this, Zoe. Go. Leave. Dark, Turn scary around. cave. No way to get Don't around it. Fairy tale conventions never fail to make my life miserable. Dogs doo doo, She's incense, dangerous. and rotting flesh. Smells like witches, all right. Is it my imagination? Or is the light changing? Is it getting darker? Am I going blind? Help! Do you hear voices? I hear voices. I don't like disembodied voices. Disembodied voices are never a good sign. I feel strange. I felt this way before when I was... when I was in a coma. Inside story time. 
I must be on the border between waking the and dreams. The is gone, but she is here now. She'll eat you is up. Is that where the Yaga like is? Like she ate all of us. It looks like a house. She tricked I mean, us. a scary house, she sure, but us. still just she a house. Us. She us. Weeds and vines, covering everything. We're the children that never left. It's too late to save us. Save yourself! Go! Who bothers me? Who bothers the Yaga? Okay, so maybe not just a house after all. You have something that's not yours. Lead, monkey. Not until you give me the soul stone. We do not know what you speak of. Whoa. My whole body's tingling. I can change things. I can manipulate this dream. Cool. There are three minds in there. But which one's the Yaga? I can hear several voices. All of them angry. It's so loud, so strong, I can't... I can't keep listening, she's too strong. Oh, this sucks. Wait, the sky? Is this story time? But it's not like how I remember it. It looks... older. It looks a lot... older. you a clever monkey. Hush, sister. Don't speak to it. Just let it lose itself in the dark. It'll weaken, and then we can eat it. It'll probably taste honey sweet, like a newborn babe. Do not underestimate this one, sisters. There's something different about it. Hello? Maybe not so clever after all. We're hungry. We need to eat. Not long now. You must be tired, monkey. Your eyes grow heavy. Sleep. We'll watch over you. Show yourselves. Is it not asleep yet? Lie down and shut your eyes, monkey. Let us feed. 
That's not going to happen. It answers back, like a thing with a mind of its own. A very clever monkey. This one has spirit and something else, something powerful. Wicker Witch of now, the North. Now, there's no need for insults. We are... The Yaga. No monkey has ever been here before. We're curious about you. We? The sisters. Bayeb Ayaka. Bayeb Aya... Baba Yaga. Older than time. Older than memory. Old as darkness. Always three. Not always, sister. In the beginning, the Yaga was one, and then everything unraveled. Light came, worlds were born, monkeys bred and became legion. And the one became three. You are from across the divide. From a world ruled by machines. That's right. But not really here at all. Dreaming. Apparently so. We thought there was only one dreamer. You were mistaken. Something made you. That's interesting. We didn't see this coming. We do so love surprises. What do you want from us, monkey? The soul stone. You stole it. Luke stole it first. Only fair that we stole it back. What do you want with it? To bring it back where it belongs. To cure Lux. Lux is the... Lux is the first dreamer. We know. Oh, we know. You cannot teach us things, monkey. We were there in the darkness, in the time before time, before all this terrible brightness, before you monkeys spoiled it. We had the soul stone then. It fed us and made us strong. But Lux took it so that Lux could dream. We were there when Lux dreamed the first dream and the stars were born and everything came apart. If we give you the stone, we fade from memory. We will be forgotten. It's all that anchors us when there's no one left to worship and fear us. But they do worship you, don't they? In the city, they've built effigies to the Wicker Witch. The Wicker Witch! A bedtime story, a spineless fairy tale for nestlings. No one truly fears the Yaga anymore. Our power is diminished. I don't know. People need darkness. They need to be frightened. In my world, scary is popular. There are films, games, haunted houses. Playthings. We are less than we were. We remember feeding, our stomachs bloated with flesh and fear. Well, things change. That's how it goes. Maybe, instead of giving you the soul stone, we eat you up. All your delicious memories. All your dreaming powers. Your soul will keep us warm and sated. How's that gonna help anyone? Help? What makes you think we'll help? We owe the universe nothing, monkey. We owe looks nothing. Why should we care if the dream ends? Perhaps, if you give us a little morsel, a taste of you, what can you offer us? Offer? A sin. A secret. Something dark. Something you keep deep inside and fear to reveal. I... Is there really nothing I can give her? What will they do to me if I refuse? There's nothing. You are without sin, without flaw. There are no choices that you regret. The lucky monkey appears to be as pure as the first rays of light that fell upon the dreaming. Since you offer us nothing, we offer you nothing in return. But why? You're not only punishing everyone out there, but you're also hurting yourselves. 
Who will worship and fear you when they're all gone? So what else can you offer us, monkey? What can you give of yourself to prove that this matters? I don't know. You demand that we give up the thing that feeds us and keeps us warm. And you cannot make a similar sacrifice. You're right. I can't. I don't have what you're asking for. I'm human. I've made terrible decisions, but I don't linger on those decisions. I move forward and live with the consequences. Shame, anger, disappointment, regret. That's not what feeds me. I survive because I let go every day. Because I have hope and faith in the future. Not because I look back. That goes for most people. And all I want is to give those people a chance to make their choices, good or bad, and carry on living and learning. If that's not enough for you, then I have nothing. And if I don't, if I fail to bring the Soul Stone to the first dreamer, Lux dies. The dream ends. There will be no one around to remember any of us, all the choices we've made that brought us here. It all hinges on this moment in time. We know this, little monkey. This is why we are giving you the Soul Stone. But you must do one thing for us in return. Anything, as long as it's mine to give. You must remember us when the dream is in you. The world needs us. Without the sisters, without the Yaga, there is no fear, no imagination. Every dream needs a nightmare. I don't think I could forget, even if I tried. Yes, I'll remember you. Good. 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 Here is the Soul Stone. Take it, use it to wake Lux. We would have done it ourselves, but the Dreamer Monkey is the only one with that power. How do I get there? Someone's coming, little furry thing. They will gift you a beast to ride. Go to Lux. You will feel Lux like a lantern in the dark. Follow the light. Save the dream, Dreamer. Become one with the first. What does that mean? You'll find out. And a clever monkey. Beware the wizard of lies. He schemes, he plots. He wishes to remake the world. He wears a mask. He harbors ambitions. He always did. But now, there's something in him. It's a dangerous thing. Where did you disappear to? I have a thing about huge monster houses. I don't like them. Oh, you're the worst sidekick. That's what they keep telling me. I honestly don't know why. Let's go back and find the furry little halfling thing again. I bet you he didn't wait for us. I bet you he's long gone. She is letting us go. What did you do? We're free. Time to go. Thank you, Dreamer. Find Luke's. Save the dream. Is this the one? That's her. That's Zoe. You face Yaga and live? This is impossible. Who are you? Might as well go with what everyone calls me here. Zoe Castillo, 
Dreamer. Zoe Castillo. Dreamer. She know who she is. Impressive, that, for human. Well, Zoe Castillo, Dreamer, how you survive meeting Yaga without losing your self? You strike bargain like witches of old. Sell your self to Yaga for freedom and power. Do you serve Yaga now? I don't serve anyone. And no bargain. I just... I'd like to learn more about the Yaga. Maybe this one knows something. Who is the Yaga? I only know what elders tell me when I was child. And I only ever encounter Yaga's servants. One of them lived in this forest before. She was Gribbler. Twisted, ancient, evil thing. No one but Yaga know what Yaga truly is. Those who face her never come home, aside from you. My grandmother tell me Yaga was born before beginning of time. Lux and Yaga, light and dark, dream and nightmare. Balance is in everything, human. When our world takes shape, so did Yaga. One became three. Three sisters. Innocence, age, decay. All aspects of life. More than the first dreamer, Yaga understand life. She understand mortality. Mortality in her blood. Maybe why she hate the living so much. Why she grew mean and hungry. She spread her will across world into witches and warlocks, sorcerers and necromancers, the weak and malleable. But as old magic fade, so do Yaga. Wizard Clax and Gribbler were two of her last servants, and April Ryan defeated them both. After that, they say, Yaga was diminished. Now, Wicker Witch of North is joke to humans of Mercuria. They remember nothing of what she was. They never see their young eaten by night. But Yaga is not the night that threatens world now. Her darkness is different darkness, one that balances light, necessary darkness. She is nightmare that feeds imagination. The other darkness, well, other darkness is deeper and final. A black fire that spreads and burns until nothing left, until time itself is ashes. Even Yaga fear this darkness. I believe that's why she let me go, so that I can help. You got the soul stone? You carry soul stone? What soul stone? You can trust Bendu, Masiri, Zoe. She is an elder. She returned from exile to help me find those who survived. I have Lux's soul stone. I need to take it north to the Ula. Ula? Why Ula? You know them. I heard of Ula in stories. Ancient people inhabit ruins of their own civilization, high in border mountains. You know where to go? I've seen a map. They live on Cloud Peak in the mountains of Yedra. Maps deceive. Go north and then west. A week's journey on foot before you start climb. We don't have a week. Rushing, rushing, rushing into anything is unwise. You carry Soulstone to Ula for what reason? To return it to the first dreamer. Lux is with Ula? So my visions tell me. Your visions? I know this is hard to believe, but I promise I'm... I believe, I believe. No need to promise. Story too unbelievable for Mole not to believe.
Take leap for human. Ride north, swift as wind. You will reach mountains by first light tomorrow. Leapfur can climb at least part of way. You'll be with Ula in less than two days. She said someone would come, but that thing? Is it safe? I have no idea how to ride that. Not to worry. Leapfur know well enough for both of you. What will you do without a mount? We use feet. Mole's not in rush. We walk slowly so that those of Banda who still live can hear us coming and meet us. We're going east, Zoe. We'll follow the Banda who fled the Azadi. Maybe they still live. Maybe they... We will find them, little one. Take beast. Go north. Do what needs doing. I feel darkness coming. Black fire. Cold as ocean. Perhaps you can stop this, dreamer. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Goodbye, Zoe. Thank you, Ben. And good luck. I hope you find your people again. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. It's not often I get to see you. Why this place? It's safe. And, uh, symbolic, maybe? It was a safe house, before it was raided by Azadi soldiers. Under Kian's command. I see. So, what news do you have for me, Elena? Your message said- Kian has left for Gian, together with Liko, the Dolmari warrior. For Guillen? The prison camp for magicals? Light. Why? What does he hope to accomplish there? This is Kian we're talking about. He believes he can save everyone. He also believes Guillen holds the key to the future of the Empire. But breaking into a fortified prison camp? He won't stand a chance. That's why I messaged you, Mother. This might be an opportunity. You did the right thing, child. Come, let's talk. We do not have much time. Scale the fence over there and make our way into. We should split up. <laughs> You've read too many copper coin serials, Liko. Splitting up makes us vulnerable. Stay together, we could both end up dead. Part ways, and one of us might still make it out, even if the other doesn't. That's a possibility, but I still think. Besides, one of us has to locate the administrators' quarters. How do you know there'll be one of them? This is an Azadi camp, Kian. There will be detailed records and documents. If you want to find a single prisoner amongst thousands, you'll need records. I'll climb the fence, enter the camp, create a distraction. I look like the prisoners. I can speak to them. If necessary, I can blend in. You find the administrator and the records. That tower looks like a good place to start. Where do we meet? If we make it that far, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Try not to die. You still owe me your life. Oh, I intend to stay alive. I hope you're on good terms with your gods. I'm on excellent terms with my gods. If 
I'm going to find prisoner records anywhere in this camp, it'll most likely be inside that tower. That section of the prison walls appears to be part of the old castle fortifications, from when the necromancer king ruled Guienne. The wall connects with the tower. If I can get up there, I might find a way in. It's steep and slippery. I don't see how I can climb up from here. This wall isn't quite as sheer, and it has outcrops and footholds. I might be able to scale it. This looks like a good place to start climbing. Light! Goddess! larger than I thought. There must be thousands of magicals here. Are they planning to just murder them all? The guards are watching the prison grounds. They don't expect anyone to be breaking into the camp. See anything? Nothing. I could have sworn. Maybe it was just a bird. You don't think I can tell the difference between a man and a bird? It's dark. It's dark. Just shut up and keep your eyes open. I owned a far glass once. It helped me keep tabs on the street gangs in Sadir. But Vermont's boys stole it from me. Hundreds of dead magicals. something, but I'm too far away to see exactly what. I need to get a closer look. The guards can get a closer look at what's going on below. They say he hunted humans. But wasn't a human himself? But he looks human from the statues. Mm. 
A shape changer then? Or maybe it was a blue height, like them Dolmari down there. Can't tell skin. Has been stirring things up again. The administrator's office will be somewhere on this floor, I'm sure of it. Management always picks the topmost floor. That's the symbol of the servant's trade, the attendants and domestics that help keep this facility operational. The military branch. They have a large presence here, but they wouldn't be handling the administration of the camp. That responsibility would lie with the sister. The Makers Guild. They're responsible for construction and maintenance, not administration. There's probably nothing in there that I need. That, I believe, is the official seal of the Office of Scientific Progress. There were whispers of their existence in Sadir, but I knew of no one affiliated with the division. As far as I understand, they've been instrumental in the creation of the engine. They're a new arm of government, and unlike most other offices, they appear to answer directly to someone on the Council. I'd say this is the best place to start looking for prisoner records and incriminating documents. Locked. Anyone around? Isaac? Tehran? Anyone? No one? Oh, goddess, I hate walking all the rounds. Fallows may have the wits of a mind bug, but some night I swear he's right. This stone tomb is cursed. Shadow's name. Oh, come on, come on, open up, you accursed. Oh, for the love of the first mountain. Goddess damn key stuck again. If one of these things fell over, it would create quite a racket. If I just jiggle with that. Oh, goddess, take me now, it's even more stuck. spent on the streets of Sadir continue to pay off. If I don't return the keys right now, the guard may sound the alarm.
the Office of Scientific Progress. Most likely the administrator's quarters. The necromancer kings lost his head. I wonder why they've all been removed. It appears to be pointing at something in this office. It's a necklace traditionally worn by a sister. It signifies her standing within the six circles of Sadir. These statues can't be new. The necromancer must have had them made when he ruled the island a thousand years ago. Why would they need an anatomical chart? Skulls. Shadow. Someone's got a morbid taste in interior decorating. What's the administrator doing with that? There's something odd about that wall. Hmm. Azadir. It's been a long time. The First Mountain. One of our seminal religious texts. It's a letter, signed by the Administrator. The last round of testing surpassed our loftiest expectations, confirming initial theories. The Dalmari Plague has successfully been triggered in a seven-year-old Zidling. The creature survived three days before succumbing to fever and bleeding rashes. It died in blessed agony. The disease has not yet settled in an adult Zid, or plague-resistant Dalmari. Further mutations are required before we can move on to the next phase. What in Shadow's name? The administrator must be a knitter of socks and scarves. This speaks in her favor. Due to disease spreading amongst the prison population, we recommend reducing the amount of Dalmari meat used for inmate rations. What is this? We do not want disease spreading inadvertently within the magical population, as this will negatively affect test results. Goddess. It doesn't budge. Must be locked. A stone head, belonging to one of the statues depicting the Necromancer King. It's been decapitated, like all the other statues in this place. Is this abomination? It's too dark to... What is that down there? Are those... bodies? For a while there, I didn't think you would, but those guards... Standards have fallen. I may need to behead someone, set an example. Goddess, I can't 
believe you're really here. The Apostle. I am so starstruck right now. I mean, I'm your biggest fan. Biggest? What? What's going on? Is she dissecting a body? What are you doing to that body? What body? Oh, this body. It's not really a body. It's still alive, so technically, it's a person. Albeit a magical, so not technically a person either. A magical? Is that... Bip? Is that Bip? Is that what this thing is called? I was aware that it knew you, so I thought it appropriate to work on this one tonight. Let him go! But I'm not finished! Oh my. I'd always dreamed of meeting you, but in my dreams, I never had to pull a gun. And you weren't wearing clothes. I guess it's true what they say about dreams coming true. Do you think me too presumptuous? There's only the two of us. I'm sure you won't tell. I could call for the guards waiting outside the door, but then our little chat would be over, and I feel we still have so much to talk about. She's hurting an innocent child. Goddess, she's a monster. Who gave you the authority to do this? Oh, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm so sorry. I'm Sister Alessandra, administrator of the Guillen camp. My title is actually Director of Scientific Progress in the Greater Azadi Empire, but never you mind. Call me Sister Alessandra. Even just Sandra will do. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Do the Six know what you're doing here? The Six are too busy governing to involve themselves in every one of our programs. I answer to the Office of Scientific Progress in Sadir. It was established by the Prophet himself. We have full autonomy. The Six don't need to get their hands dirty. Besides, we're acting. I'm acting. In accordance with the wishes of our Goddess and for the good of the Empire. This camp is a research facility, Kian, not a prison, not a death camp. We're doing very important work. In the last five years, we've made so much progress. We're closer than ever before to producing the cure. What cure? The cure. For magic, of course. We're creating a scourge to wash the world clean. When we unleash our holy plague, it will spread like wildfire across all continents. Humans will be perfectly safe, of course, but magicals, they will die. Every single one of them. You're insane. No, no, it's perfectly safe. We're doing science here, not black magic. We're being very thorough. You see, we started with the Dolmari plague. Do you know about this? Many decades ago, it killed almost half the Dolmari in the world. But then it weakened, and the remaining Dolmari became resistant to the disease. A real shame. It would have saved us a lot of work if it had killed them all. What we're doing, what we have done, is modify this plague. It no longer affects only Dolmari. It affects all things magical. People, beasts, insects, plants. Anything infected by magic is cleansed, eradicated. I don't like to brag, but it's fiendishly clever. Who would authorize something so demonic and inhuman? Who authorized this? The Office of Scientific Progress, of course. The Prophet approved it. The Six... The Six don't know the details, but they know we're working on a solution to the magical problem. They turn a blind eye, but I'm doing this work so that they don't have to. We're getting our hands dirty for the goddess, for the empire, for the future of humanity. You can see the light in that, can you not, Kian? You're evil. What you're doing here is evil. This is the Shadow's work, sister. Evil. What Magicals did to us, to our nation, that was evil. Those precious Dolmari of yours murdered my family, burnt our farm to the ground. My brothers and, and sisters, they were children. What had they ever done to deserve that? They died in agony, 
crying for our parents while those beasts just watched. And what they did to me afterwards. We're doing this so that no one will have to go through what they went through. Now you've made me upset, Kian. You shouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm the one holding the gun. One shot, and they'll come running through that door. Of course, you'll already be dead. You'll be dead. situation I just saved you from getting shot. Besides, the last time it was an arrow, not a bullet. There's a big difference there. So what's going on here? Long story. Who's she? I'll tell you later. Help me! Oh, oh goddess, help me! I command you! Sounds like she's very upset. She is. So, what have you been up to, aside from all the stabbing? Uh, freeing prisoners, arming them with Azadi the blades and spears, blowing things up? Sounds fun. It was. Huh. Is that Pip? It is. He's unharmed, thank goddess. I was just about to... Stand down, Golmari. What in Shadow's name is going on? Where's the administrator? Down there. Down. Get me out of here. Light protect me, I'm hurt. My legs are broken, I'm bleeding! Do you want to explain what's happening here, Kian? Please, Mia. Ask your men to stand down. I serve the goddess, same as you. The administrator does not. Fine. But if you don't tell me everything, and I mean everything... I will. You may want to sit down. This is going to take a while.
The final preparations will be completed by tomorrow, mistress. And the ceremony? It will begin when the moon rises on Reap Moon's Eve as planned. The engine is ready. We have accomplished everything we set out to do. And the Prophet will be here. So he has told us through his messengers. We have no reason to doubt his word. This is the beginning of a new era, Sister Sire. Indeed it is, Mistress. Such a pity Harmy isn't here with us. Where is the General, Mother? Why does he not grace us with his presence? He's away. Uh, on urgent business. Yes, I'm sure he is. Mistress, did you know about this urgent business of Harmy's? We trust the General to set his own priorities, Sister Sire. Of course. It is a pity, though. Great things are happening, and I'd hate for Harmy to miss out. After all, were the resistance to fall in his absence and the war of the Northlands won, what would remain of his legacy? a steep climb. I'm actually surprised you made it this far. To be honest, I was expecting you to lose foothold and tumble to your death, or for a rock slide, or for one of those ghastly flying things to attack us. I'm really glad I have wings. It's a long way down if you slip and fall. Thanks, Crow. That's more than enough. Happy to help. That's what I'm here for. This is comfortable. This is nice. Great views from up here. Actually, do you think you'll be able to get off my head soon? I'm getting itchy. You want me off your head? Ah, I thought you specifically wanted me to stay put after that whole incident with the stone cat. Nope. Okay, then. like something. This is amazing. A whole city up in the clouds. Wasn't that what you were looking for? I know, but still, seeing it with my own eyes. You humans are weird. giant moth in a cage because why not if you're gonna have a giant moth around a cage is the way to go the purple mountains hey one of them's outside maybe I can get some help finding Abnaxus Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I'm Zoe. I'm a friend. Abnaxus must be called the same in every language. I'm looking for Abnaxus. Do you know Abnaxus? <laughs> I don't expect the Ular to know anything about monocles, but they must have noticed it. I mean, it's a monocle. He wears a round piece of glass in one eye. Like this, a ring, in front of his eye. Like an old-timey millionaire. <laughs> How about his cane? The cane transcends language. They must know about that cane. Abnaxus walks around with a stick that he leans on. Like this, like... <laughs> you know him! Where's Abnaxus? 
<laughs> Up there? That's high. I don't know if I can get all the way... Hey, where are you going? Come back! Shit! I probably couldn't have made it this far without Crow, and Crow would definitely not have made it this far without me. Oh, there you are. How do I... Hey, let me go. Oh, God. Dreamer. <coughs> you did come. You didn't exactly make it easy. Why not, I don't know, just tell me where to go and what to do? Touching you through dreams will be like a blind man searching for a red pebble in a wild river. And if finding you is difficult, to talk even more so. Only fragments of words will survive the journey across. Some things will also not be known to me, and could not be spoken. We do not know where Lux's heart was. You will need to find it on your own. Only a dreamer could take this and bring... <laughs> <laughs> he does not sound well at all. Are you sick? I was fading. I will have stayed behind too long. After my people leave one realm for another, this time is poison. It diminishes me. My loop ends soon. Too late for Abnaxus to journey onwards. But not too late for Lux. Not too late for the dream. I will have stayed behind for Lux, for you to have found your way to Lux. Compared with this momentous thing, my life was of little significance. Sending me cryptic dreams seems like a very inefficient way of doing it. Couldn't you reach someone else and have them return the Soul Stone? Only a dreamer can face the sisters. Only a dreamer will make them listen. Only a dreamer was able to retrieve Lux's heart. The Soul Stone? Only two could touch it. There is no other dreamer now. Only Zoe. Only Lux. Why not send an actual message instead of vague visions? You were worlds away. Any message would be broken, unreliable. The Ular will help me dream. The bird was needed to have found you in those dreams. It'd be nice to learn more about the Ular. The bird was needed. What does that mean? How was Crow able to find me? The bird bridges worlds and souls. The bird has a bond with the Dragon of Spring. The bird was connected to the Dreamer and to the Bloodless King. At the end of its life, the bird will be bonded to the girl who walked across worlds. That's really not an answer. That's an anti-answer. That's worse than nothing. I mean... The bird is magic. Which bird? I wasn't listening. Is a magic bird? Where? You were a curious thing, feathered one. So little, and yet so great. So full of magic. <laughs> right. Sure. I mean... Really? Magic? Oh, yes. You would see this. He said, the Dragon of Spring. What's the Dragon of Spring? The new thing that comes to pass when the old things die. The soul of she who saved the balance, reborn. She who saved... April? Are you talking about April Ryan? What do you mean by reborn? April isn't dead? 
She will be dead. She was reborn. There are two now, entwined but apart. The dragon of spring. The girl who walked between worlds. Mortal and immortal. Human and kin. They are legend. So, they're one but two? There are two Aprils now, but she's also dead. I still don't get it. Neither would I. I will only know the words, not their meaning. This is the way of sight. I will see, but never all of it. Scattered words from a book with many, many pages. That's helpful. I'm not here to chat with Abnaxus. It'd be nice to learn more about the Ula. The Ula hide from me. They trusted no thing. Humans in particular, they will fear. The Ular lived here for many, many lifetimes. Ages ago, they would have a great city. But the Ular and Yeti are splitting, and their cities will crumble. Now they are both to be protectors of dreams in different ways. The Yeti were the grubbers beneath. The Ular lived above the clouds and gave shelter to Lux. One serves the dream, the other will serve the undream, but unwittingly. Slaves to a black fire. Grubbers. That sounds familiar. Why would these Yeti serve something that wants to unmake the world? This was beyond my understanding. We will have tried to explain more, Dreamer, but Lux awaits. The sand ran swiftly through the hourglass. I'm not here to chat with Abnaxus. Where is Lux? Follow me, Dreamer. The Ular would always be protectors of the dream. They are children of the first dream, long before these worlds, long before Human and Venar. They will keep the first dreamer safe when Lux's heart was stolen, the Soul Stone. They are protecting Lux from the Undream, protected everything from the Undream. How did Lux lose her... his... her heart? The wizard will take the Soul Stone. He lets the black fire inside him. He wanted to own dreams. He will have desired to reshape everything. He was and will be dangerous. In all presents, past and future. And the undreaming? The wizard will make a bargain. And the black fire enters him and eats him. The wizard is the undreaming. Hey, I remember you from my vision. Hello. I guess he doesn't understand me. The Ular understood enough. Here, Lux slept a dreamless sleep. What do I do now? You will know. Lux. I remember him. Uh, her? It? I remember Lux from the dream. Inside my head, I can... <laughs> hear you. I can hear you inside. You're burning with a white fire. I can't... I can't stand it. It's so painful. <sighs> Thank you. You're the first. 
You were there at the beginning of everything. Mm. Me? No, I... How was that even... How is that possible? <laughs> yes. I brought your... Your heart. The soul stone. Hmm. What do you mean, that's not what... Nox? You mean the Yaga? I didn't bring the sisters. I didn't know. They were inside the soul stone. And now they're here. With us. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Light, dark. Dream, nightmare. Together. That's why I needed to go there, to face them. To bring them with me. So, what now? How do we save the dream? How do we save reality? I can't be the one to do that. I'm just... a person. Just a person, and you're a god. Or as close as anything can be to god, I guess. I'm not ready for that. You can't put this on me. I didn't want this. I wanted to be... to be normal. I wasn't asking for a divine purpose. I just didn't know what to do with my life. What happens if I say yes? Who do I become? And what about... what about me? What becomes of me? Hmm. I understand. Mm. Of course, I trust you. How can I not? You made... all of this. Without the dream, there's nothing, and there never was. If the dreamer stops dreaming, there's nothing, forever. So if you're... <laughs> if we are one, then the dream is mine. I keep it alive. And afterwards, after I'm gone, what then? Okay. Okay. Well, we can't let the universe end, so let's do this. I'm ready. You were made of light. You were incredibly beautiful. I'm... okay. Dizzy. I... I'm... I have to go back now. Wake up. For real. Face the world. Face the... There are things that... I need to fix things. I can't be asleep any longer. Okay. Can I come? No, Crow. You can't. So you're leaving me here? You'll be fine. Thanks for... for everything. I don't think I'll be coming back. But you'll be fine. I promise. Well, that's great. Left to my own devices. In the Border Mountains by an inscrutable woman with special powers. Again. If I wasn't so furious, I'd be really, really depressed. You know, I'm so used to being the sidekick, I don't think I can do anything else. But whose sidekick will I... No. No, 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 no. Not happening, big guy. I'm flying back south to find that Kian fellow. 
I'll be his sidekick. He seems like the sort of guy who appreciates birds. Do you believe I should have told her all of it? All that I have seen? Perhaps I should have. Perhaps I was wrong not to. But... There's only here. Only now. Nothing more. I am blind. I think I will sit down. Rest. Sleep. Dream of my daughters. Long gone. And hope the future will still be there for them all. When I fade to dust. The answer is no. You should know better than to ask, Saga. I won't risk you getting lost out there, again. I'll be careful this time, I promise. It doesn't matter. I am not removing the wards. I'm 14, Papa. I can take care of myself. That didn't help your mother. It's always about her, isn't it? I'm not my mother. Whatever happened to her won't happen to me. And you know this how? She said the same thing. She wasn't going to get lost. She was coming right back. I shouldn't worry. I should just... Just stay put and wait for her. I, I, I'll remove the wards when you're older. Until then, you are not leaving the house on your own. That is so unfair. I've been stuck here my whole life. How much longer are we going Until to... Until I know that she's not coming back. All right? Until I know for sure, because if we leave and she does return... She's gone. Let her go, Papa. Please. I'm going upstairs to rest for a bit. Don't play the radio too loud. I'll be back down for dinner. Ugh, I can't take this anymore. I'll show him his wards can't stop me from walking. I just have to, uh, find the wards first. Not easy when only Papa can see them. That's weird. Papa's usually so fastidious about keeping his eyeglasses with him at all times. I'll just borrow them for a minute, or twelve. Oh wow, I see one of the wards! So, that's how Papa maintains them. The magic's in his glasses. I mean, of course it is, it's dab magic. Still, it's pretty cool. Happier days, before I was around. Maybe if I hadn't been born, Mama would still be here with Papa. I can't remember the last time we lit a fire. 
We used to do that all the time. Roast marshmallows and sausages and tell scary stories. But, yeah, things changed. I'm sure that was me who made those scratches. I remember being scolded. And it wasn't just the one time. Papa used to take photographs back when they first moved in, and when I was little. My window looks out to Letoch, but this one's tuned to where Mama was born. It's nowhere close to Scotland. The seasons are similar, though. Just more extreme. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, did I break your head? Yes. Do you have to carry me across the threshold? We'd be tempting fate if I don't. We need to do this right. Watch your head now. There, we have officially moved in. Welcome home, sweetheart. Oh, my head's hurting. Let me kiss it. Where does it hurt? There? Mm, that helped. Oh, she's moving. She's kicking, Magnus. Here, give me your hand. Can you feel it? She's happy to be home. Hello, Saga. Welcome home, baby girl. Balance. So that's what the wards are made of. Fragments of the past. Memories. No wonder they're so strong. They're charged with powerful emotions. Some might be red herrings, though, to make the wards harder to crack. I need to untangle the specific memories that tie the wards together. Easy. Oh, honey, please. I'm not in a state to be photographed. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's the first week in a brand new home. This, this needs to be commemorated. Oh, I feel so bloated. Fine, just let me... There. Ready. Hurry up. Magnus, Saga, look! Snow! It's snowing! Beautiful. The first snowfall in our new home. The first of many firsts. I hope you grow up to love this house, Saga. We built it for us. For our tiny family. Look! Etta, she's smiling. I think she understood you. Saga, no. Don't draw on the floor. You might damage it. Ward. The house will draw us both back if we ever get lost. That's what it does. It's what it's for. And you're sure we can trust it? Are you questioning my building skills? I don't want to lose you again. You won't. It's safe to leave, Etta. You'll find your way back and we'll be safe here. Both of us. All three of us. When that one arrives. Oh, and not a moment too soon. I am so over being pregnant. Speaking of which, I'm starving again. I'll make stew. Please don't. We have to wall it up, Magnus. It's dangerous. What if Sog- I know. I will. I promise. Tomorrow after you've left, I'll get right to it. Could there be more like it? More gaps? More- I don't know, Etta. I hope not. I'll take care of it, I promise. I really don't want to leave right now. You'll be back soon. Everything will work out. The house will take care of us all. Hey, is there anything you want me to bring back this time? Do we have to talk about that right now? I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't like it when you leave. Mama coming home? 
I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out there somewhere? I think so. I believe that's the final ward. She's so perfect. I could stare at her for hours. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I go in here just to look at her. <laughs> she is perfect. You leaving before she wakes up? I have to. While the paths are still there. They're stable now, but that might change. I can't risk waiting. Watch over her for me, okay? Keep her safe? Of course. Always and forever. I promise. Come here. I love you. Always and forever. And I'll be back. I pinky promise. Ground control to Major Tom. Who's Major Tom, Papa? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Where did you hear that name? I think it's a traveler who travels to the moon. Like Mama. I don't think Mama went to the moon, Saga. But you know what I mean. Someone who travels far away to see new things. Like uh, an adventurer. But how can I paint a rainbow if I haven't seen one? I can't paint something I haven't seen. And I'm not allowed to go anywhere, so I'll never see one. Uh, there are pictures of rainbows in your books. Can't you paint from those? It's not the same. I want to see a rainbow with my own eyes. Why is it called homework? I'm always home. What do you mean? Why is it homework when I never go anywhere? I think it should be called just work. Uh, good question. And you're right. I need you to clean up and then do your work. All right? That's all the wards. And Papa's still asleep. He won't be happy when he wakes up. I need to get out of here before then, or he might lock me in the downstairs for a week. So I'll just open a doorway and... It's not working. Why is it not working? All the wards are gone. What's stopping me now? My chest feels warm. Wait, am I glowing? This is for you, Saga. It belonged to my mother. Keep it close to your heart and know that I'll always be thinking of you, no matter where I am. Even if I'm... Oh, baby girl. You don't understand a word I'm saying. But you will remember when you most need it. Don't let anything or anyone hold you back. All worlds, all of time are yours to explore. And as long as you are this, I will find you. I promise. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye. Saga? Saga?
Dagger, where in the world are you? Saga! <laughs> Balance, no, please, no. No, all is well. Don't take her from me. Please don't. I can't do this again. I cannot do this again. <laughs> please. <laughs> Saga. Zoe, you're awake. What? Oh, wonkers, get off me! Oh, what time is it? Wait, where... where am I? You're in the hospital, Zoe. In Casablanca. Don't you remember? I... no. You got really sick, and they brought you here to make you better. I've been watching over you. You've been in a coma for a long, long time. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm confused. You just woke up, Zoe. It must be strange to be awake again. Don't worry. It'll pass. You just need to rest. Go back to sleep now. I'll watch over you. Wonkers, you don't sound like yourself. You've been very sick, Zoe. You can't trust yourself right now. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. You'll feel much better afterwards. No, I... I can't sleep anymore. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back to sleep. I need to get up. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back Stop to sleep. Stop it, Wonkers! The call button should really be next to the bed. Although, I guess they weren't expecting me to wake up from my coma anytime soon. Someone will be with you shortly. Over 200 unread posts. So, I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Encouraging. Flowers from Liv. Hola, sweetie. I hope these flowers will brighten your day. Love, Liv. That's cute. Liv's cute. I'm so happy to have Olivia Del Marco in my life. And Alien the Cat is hands down the best electronic shop in Casablanca. I can't wait to go back. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was... ages ago. Did it close down? I... I remember something about... Uh, what just happened? Something happened to her. To live. Something terrible. Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. Olivia. She's dead. I know it. I feel it. Shit. Am I losing my mind, or is reality glitching? Liv had an accident. She's dead. She never sent me a get well card. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. <laughs> prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. Graduation day in front of Jami Hall. 
Cape Town University has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends, sitting on jammy steps and looking out over the city. I remember feeling like the end of my bioengineering degree was impossibly far away. I can't believe I actually made it to graduation. It's almost... almost like a dream. Come to think of it, I don't remember much from that day. I was there, I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad? Reza? And what was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Now I'm officially freaked out. Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing, something's definitely wrong here. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please lie down, just for a minute. I'll watch over you. I'll sing for you. Jardin de Roses. Home sweet home for most of my tumultuous teenage years. Dad and me in Casablanca. Our fifth anniversary. Reza and I took the backtracks to Norway and a hydrofoil to Svalbard. We spent a long weekend traveling around the island. We always talked about going to Svalbard. It's such an incredible place. So majestic and so alien. And I was totally geeking out about going inside the Doomsday Vault. Five years together. Almost hard to believe. Things have been rocky between us from time to time. It's amazing that we... that we lasted... this long. I remember we stayed at the... uh... What was the name of that place again? And where was it? I don't... I don't remember... any of it. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip, aside from talking to Reza about it and this photo. We were there, and we've been together for five years, have, haven't we? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip, it never happened. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please That's stop. me, in Cape Please Town. Please go back to bed. Go back to sleep, Zoe. It's a card from Karen. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend, and she makes great coffee. Mum, Dad, and me. That was when we moved to Casablanca. Mum and Dad were always moving when I was growing up, because of their jobs. This must have been the fifth or sixth home we moved into. I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there. It had all these nooks and crannies, a balcony and my own room with an awesome view. There were so many hiding places. Me and... and Mum. We played hide and seek all the time. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout. What was it she'd say again? I... I don't actually remember her voice that well, or her face, or that she was there with Dad and me. Mum was... she wasn't... where was she? Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. Oh my god. This isn't real. This place is a... a hallucination. Or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. The both of us. 
forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Something's wrong. This place and you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Zoe. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers, your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together from memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia, I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or a dream made physical by me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty-night. I'll miss you too, buddy. Bib, stop that. It's not a toy. You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court-martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadia to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse. A solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. She must stand trial. But we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her. And we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. She's murdered thousands. And she believes she's righteous. Nothing will be gained from sparing her life. Court-martial and execution. Very well. Hang her from the tower. May the goddess have mercy on your dark soul, Alessandra. You can't do this. I have the council's approval. There are powerful people in charge. You'll all rot in shadow, I swear to the goddess. You'll burn for eternity. What now, Kian? We go back, and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. Now, when I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. I don't trust Vamon and Saya. They've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you if necessary, to have my eyes opened this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you, and the Dolmari, of course. Your man, Liko. I failed you. I failed our nation. 
And I'm sorry for that, Kia. For distrusting you. I should have known better. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. I gave you reason to doubt me. I'm not so sure about that, Kian. I acted rashly and... General... Harmy... I forgive you. Huh. There's one thing I must know. Who told you that Liko and I had gone to Guyen? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. She has her sources. She urged me to follow you. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Yes, although if she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercurio and arrest Mammon and Sion. I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels against Vermont's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What about the Dolmari? Liko? He's speaking to the prisoners. He'll accompany us. I'll send for him. Liko will expect his people to be brought back to Mercuria, or given free passage to wherever they want to go. I give you my word, as soon as the conflict has been resolved. We'll have to leave young Bip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Bip, time to go. Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? You've done all I've asked. With the General away, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. The Office of Scientific Progress has proven itself a loyal servant to the Goddess. The support in Sadir has been unwavering. I am pleased with your work. Thank you, Prophet. We live to serve the Goddess. Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You, and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, though most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? And have him cast us from the top of the tower. We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. You take care of them. I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active... We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that Don't we... worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes.
Long ago, when I was a boy, exploring the mountains close to my village, I met an old Dolmari man, herding his stone goats. Our two people were officially at war, but there were still Dolmari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain, the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And it's in you. Your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life, but I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders, we are all Arcadians. Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to Magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring. But if we don't act tonight, in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister sire. Those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend Sire and Vamon, Alive, if possible. Dead, if necessary. You'll take your commands from the General. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world. From destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Shepard, Bob who can see, there's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. You know what to do, Kian? Ferdows will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go alone? I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna and Enu will escort Ferdows and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but your task is more important and more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans and what the camps were for, I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender, rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. 
Civil war is a terrible thing, Harmy. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kian. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. speech. They will follow you to their deaths if necessary. I hope that won't be needed. It's enough to know that we stand united. It's what we've been fighting for, and I no longer have to feel torn between two worlds. Thank you for trusting me, Liko. For convincing me to bring you to Guyen. I... I consider you my brother, Liko. Stay safe tonight. All right. Everyone looks ready. Let's do this. For Shepard. For Shepard. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. For family. Family. Take care, brother. May your God a smile upon you tonight. That was a really good speech. I'm sure someone's going to put that into play someday. You know, one of those stirring, heroic monologues before the final act, before everyone dies. I'm not saying everyone's going to die, I'm just saying, Shepard, she would have approved. I hope so. Oh, she would. She knew you'd step up and take over one day. And she cared for you. As, you know, a friend. I don't think Shepard would. I mean, you and her? With you, you know, and her... You know, major, major compatibility issues. When this is over, we'll honor her memory. I'm sure Shepard will care more about us seeing this through than being memorialized. She stayed behind when her people left the Northlands to give us Magicals a chance of winning, of surviving. That is all that mattered to her. Tonight's for Shepard, then. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. And for those of us still alive. Let's not forget those of us still alive. For all of us. Yeah. I'm really scared. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone else, but I really am. I do not want to die. I know I keep telling people I'm ready to die, but... I know. And I can't tell you that won't happen. Because it might. Great. Good to know. Very comforting. If I do die, then at least I died for something. Right? Something important? My life had meaning. That's something, right? Right. Well, good luck, Kian. What is it you people say? I hope your goddess smiles on you. And to be honest, on me as well. I mean, she's not my goddess, but I'd still appreciate a smile. Or just the tiniest smirk. Maybe a wink? Basically, any kind of acknowledgement will do. I want to be in good standing with all gods, goddesses, and non-gendered deities tonight. Anna, Elena, we haven't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... ...talked, and... Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Kian, really. I'm glad you're back and in one piece. We have a job to do. We can talk... after. Good, yes. After. We really should. Anu and I will escort Ferdals to the engine house in the green. We'll watch over him while he does whatever it is that he needs to do. Kian, are you sure we can trust him? Do we have a choice? Yes, I, I believe we can. Okay. He'll be ready when you found your way into the tower. Something Hami said. Utana learned of my trip to Guyen from a trusted source. I wonder, did you tell Utana about Guyen? I... Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was... I did it to help you. I trust the mother, I always have, ever since... Well, you know, you and her, you saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. If you hadn't told Utana, I'd be dead now. So, thank you. That's it. Thank you. We might never see each other again, and... I can't give her everything she's hoping for. 
but I can at least say something to make her feel better. We'll see each other again. Really? Well, if you say so. You have a lot to learn about women, Kian. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, Elena. Are we leaving soon? Because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded with revelers, and the Azadi are staying out their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely for Daz? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? Crash! crash! Wait, what's happening now? Why are we all saying crash? Has there been an accident? If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that, um, crashes into a mountainside. It's complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked on the engine for years. I know how it operates. Are you guys ready? I am so ready. I mean, not really, because I have no idea what we're doing, but I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Not that I feel ready. I prefer fighting an enemy I can see, and I don't understand what this engine is, or how Ferdow's plans to stop it, or what it's doing, but... So how about it, guys? Let's go. Be safe, Kion. If you die, I'll be very cross with you. are checking everyone going through the benefactor's gate to the ceremony in Tower Square. Gather round, friends, gather round. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Witness, a magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy nights. It's an affront to decency and humanity, a foul, feathered, chattering, foul. Okay, joke's on me. Open this cage right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. The voice of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins, and the great engine ushers in a new age of reason, logic, and humanity and an end to sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. This false foul mocked me once before and caused a fellow follower, a fair friend of the cause, great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again, all because of this, this freak of nature. I, Honor Hilaris, candidate and faithful servant of humanity, will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased magic, honoring our ancient human traditions, and- You gibbering coward. When are you gonna shut up and just go away? 
people are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Hear, hear! And you! You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just gonna let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reap Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It's, it's a talking bird. Not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being harmed, we cannot intervene. Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards! Help. Hello? Help me There's over a bird here. In this cage. A caged bird in a bird's cage. What do you want, bird? I, I don't have time for. I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Keon. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. You were a friend of April. Friend, partner, sidekick. I came back to Markyria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you have to help me. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower, and time is the running... The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big, white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower! A secret way! Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest! If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. Carriers of foul fevers and sorcerous contagions. Filthy as sin, all of them. They reap which one's least filthy. Nope, they're all filthy. I feel unclean. Destroys the contagion. The fire brings the light of goodness to us all, and we shall embrace it. That was like drinking the shadow's sulfurous piss. Ah, I'm reasonably certain that had bird shit in it. I just drank bird shit. This was not a well-considered action by any measure of things. Oh, oh, oh. Why do I do this to myself? I'm office in the city watch, where I can personally supervise the hunt for non-humans and magic in Mercuria. When I'm elected, it's Reap Moon's Eve, sir, and you <laughs> appear to be uninebriated. For shame! Public intoxication is practically mandatory this evening. You're in luck, sir. Most stalls have shut down for the evening, but we're open and will remain open until the very last bottle has been sold. Which, from my experience, won't be too long now. The discriminating Northlander knows we're a notch above the rest. No Southlands imports here, sir. These bottles are tapped in the Northlands with wine from the tart purple grape of... I'm sure your wine is more than adequate, Merchant. Oh. Very well. What can I get you tonight, most sober of sirs? Perhaps you want to sample a bottle before you buy? I'm not some barbarian choosing wines merely by colour. A small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? 
You can look it up in books. Excellent choice, sir. This one is both tart and celebratory. A melancholy Just mix of... Just pour the wine, please. Very well. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swirl, and a sip. <sighs> Donkey's urine. That's what this is. Ass piss. Ugh, and it kicks like a mule. Hello again. Changed your mind, sir? Do you perhaps want a little sampler? I'm a small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. One, two, three... Four, five... Eight... Nine... Ten... Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so expansive. I shall Sounds put like my Hillary torch to this pyre, to wrap up and we shall watch ramblings. the bird burn. I'll just have to wait Along with this pagan watch. symbol of witchcraft and wizardry. The wicker... But enough talk! This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity, must burn! Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I'd use to... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. God save me! God save me! You lot, break it up. Nothing to see here. Shut We need to get him to a healer. Now! God has protect us. We'll be lucky to survive the night. Right, party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Good job. And now, get me off this blazing bu- Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So, were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. No, not making much of an impression on you. Okay, then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits? You mean, the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. Imbeciles! Amateurs! Don't they know who they're dealing with? 
Don't they know who I Finally. What took you so long? I've been in here for days. You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, Master. About bloody time. Home sweet home. I'm sure you remember this place. I mean, you raided it and arrested everyone and directly contributed to closing it down for good? Remember? Yes, Bird, I remember. Good. Yeah, it's a far cry from how it looked back in those happy days. But I've nested here, it's not bad. Also, it's Crow. My name is Crow. What does this place have to do with the tower? Okay, right. So, there's a secret passage leading from the cellar into a ruined subterranean city below Mercuria. Both April and Zoe used it. I've been through there a few times myself. Purely for research purposes, of course. Not to look for... treasure. Where's the cellar? Behind the bar and to the right. This is the cellar door? They've boarded it up? It wasn't boarded up the last time I checked. Or maybe it was. To be honest, I haven't been down there in ages. Well, I guess this is it. There's no way past those flimsy wooden boards. How about grabbing a cup of ale and a front seat to the end of the world? Hmm. This is it. The end of our journey. Okay. Violence. I'm not used to adventuring with people who resort to violence. I have to say, it's very refreshing not having to look for keys or levers or trying to trick wizards into lowering bridges. We should have brought you along from the start. You would have saved us a lot of time. Let's go, bird. Crow. Crow. Seriously. Watch your step, big guy. Here we are. This is it. The entrance to the grand underground realm beneath Markyria. Uh, it doesn't look so grand from this side, but believe me, it's grand. There's nothing here. No, no. Watch this. This next part is truly awesome. Ahem. Mm -hmm. Look! Look! Not bad, eh? Just like with your foot upstairs, except with my voice. Come on! What are you waiting for? I can't get through there. I'm sure you can, it's just... Ooh, yeah, no. <laughs> I see what you mean. That would be a tight squeeze. You're bigger than I thought, big guy. Weird. When April and Zoe did it, they fit perfectly, and they're not that much smaller than... Wait. I know. You need to sing. Sing? Makes perfect sense. Bird makes music. Bird-sized hole appears. Human makes music. Well, you do the math. Uh, I... I can't sing. You have a sing hole in your face. Blow air through it. Go on. The fate of the universe depends on it. Fine. How does it go again? Now you. Go! That's all wrong. Try again. Remind me how that song goes again.
Nothing. That was correct, wasn't it? It sounded correct to my ears. That was, uh, serviceable. So, hmm. Huh. Maybe I need to do it louder. <clears throat> I don't think... Wait, there was something else. When April passed through here, she had some sort of, uh, egg. Egg? A magic egg. It must still be down here somewhere. Unless someone's stolen it, which is quite possible. It was a while ago. How would a magic egg help? How can a magic egg not help? Come on, look for it! This is ridiculous. I feel... ridiculous. There's something odd about that lamp. It doesn't match the rest of the... decor. What's this? Some sort of... egg? The goddess smiles on me tonight. I'll just need to be careful. Ah, uh, shadow! There, got it. This certainly looks like a magic egg, whatever its true purpose. Hopefully, it'll help me. My suspicions are confirmed. It's a wall. Just a wall, really. Hey, whoa, what did you do? I used the egg. Weren't you watching? No, but see, see, I told you, the magic egg helped. I guess you needed a magic item because you were so thoroughly unmagical. Me, I'm a magic bird. I'm my own, uh, magic egg. No props needed. And now there are magic symbols. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Guy? And nice work, me! Onwards, bird. Crow. How hard is it to get that one right? Crow. There used to be a lot of these creatures down here, grubbers, but they've all vanished. I don't know where they could have gone. They wouldn't really fit in upstairs, especially not with the, uh, those new guidelines vis-a-vis -vis magicals. So what we're looking for is right there, a floaty thing what you can row in? Uh, boat? That's it! Row, row, row your boat gently across the, uh, the deep, dark, eldritch subterranean lake filled with all kinds of ancient tentacly weirdness and sleeping gods. Please, bird, silence. Crow! And I'm just trying to lighten the mood, big guy. You need to laugh more. I laugh when it's appropriate to do so. Show me. What? No. I won't perform for you like a... A trained ape man. Come on, you can do it. It's easy. Like this. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> See? Open your mouth, smile, push air through. I mean, I have a beak. I don't know how it works for you humans, but if I was going to guess... Ha! Ha ha! Ha! That's, um... That's sad. Frankly, that was disturbing. Please don't ever do that again. You have my word. Good. So, did you and April ever hook up? You know, mate, copulate? No. Bird, you need to learn common decency. And I am gay. I don't mate with women. Interesting. I prefer females myself. But it's not like there's a lot of us around, whatever my species is. And as long as I'm not starting a family of my own, who cares, really? Although I would like to start a family, I'm getting on. It may not show, but I've plucked some gray feathers, and I can feel it in my wings. Most mornings, they're stiff as dry twigs. I won't be around forever. It would be nice with a young wife to take care of me in my twilight years, to regurgitate my food and care for our hatchlings. I'd like to pass down some of the wisdom I've acquired through my journeys across the world, and all the jokes. I'm sure you'll meet the right bird someday, soon. Hmm. I hope so. I really hope so. This is it. This is unbelievable. It's beautiful. My skin is... My skin is tingling. There's a strange energy coming from that... These are dreams. That swirling blue pillar? If you listen closely, you can hear them. Thousands of voices. It is beautiful. This place was built by the grubbers who live down here as some sort of container to store dreams. And now the grubbers are mysteriously gone. There's probably some greater plot here that I cannot possibly wrap my little bird brain around. The tower's right above us. They built the tower on top of this place. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, speaking of coincidences, I remember the temple that used to be up there, before they tore it down. It belonged to the Sentinel, the protectors of the balance. Nice place. Beautiful murals. Shame it got destroyed. And like I said, probably just a coincidence. That's my way up. I'll fly up and wait for you at the top. It'll take you a while to climb the whole way. Trying to break through. Oh, this isn't good. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> that took longer than I expected. I had time for a wee nap. Light. This is incredible. It must have taken years to build all this. It's pretty nifty. And oh so shiny. You Azadi are really into metal, aren't you? So, what now? I need to access the engine's central control panel. There should be a speaking tube there I can use to reach Anna, Eno, and Fedaus. I'm guessing that would be in the center of this chamber. And there's someone there. It's just one person. Can you see if he's armed? I don't think so. He looks really old and frail. You could probably kill him with your pinky finger. Actually, he looks familiar. But I'm probably wrong. My eyes aren't what they used to be. We need to be careful, or he may raise the alarm. Stay here, bird. Crow. Crow. It's Crow. It's... <sighs> It appears to be an old man. Is he an engineer? These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. suspicious wiggling of fingers. I'm not a wizard, not really. Honest to gods, I'm... I'm a, a, an engineer, just an engineer. For some reason, his oddly shaped head brings to mind Guillen. I've seen you before. Your misshapen head, it's familiar to me. Were you ever on Guillen? No, I... Uh, uh... The truth now. Not in a hundred years have I been to Guillen. And that's the God's honest truth. That head could have sworn. What's your business here, old man? What's my... My dear chap. I designed and built this engine. This is all me. It's an accomplishment without equal in this world, and I... Uh... So what does it do? What does it, uh, uh, it, uh, <clears throat> it calculates. It's a giant calculating machine, that's all. <laughs> He's not being particularly forthcoming, and there's no time for diplomacy here. I'll break each and every bone in your body until you start talking. No, 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 please, I... I don't really know what they're using it for. I, I mean, it's an engine designed to make infinitely complex calculations, numbers, equations, beyond any mortal mathematician's skills. But I don't know what the Prophet and his Azadi emissary are planning. I'm simply doing the Prophet's bidding. I didn't have a choice. I don't make the grand plans. As I said, just a humble engineer. I find that hard to believe. Believe what you... Oh, thank the cruel gods of old you're here, finally! Please save me from this barbarian brute! Oh, be sorry, ever dreadfully foul lout. <coughs> Wizards. Good job taking out the frail old guy. Hey, Clax! What does that mean? It means, hey, Clax! As in Roper Clax, wizard! Puppeteer, writer, entertainer, slightly creepy geezer. What's Clax doing here? Last time I saw him, he got arrested by the Azadi for doing a puppet show about magic. Don't ask. 
It appears he's working with the Azadi, not against them. But it doesn't matter. I need to contact Fadaz. And I'll be perching right over here, keeping an eye on things. Hello? Hello? Enu? Anna? Fadaz? Anyone there? How does this Shadowforge thing work? We're here, Kian. Thank goddess. So, what now? Hello? You don't actually have to speak so loud, Kian. We can hear you perfectly well. I'll put Ferdos on. One moment. Apostle? I mean, uh, Mir? Kion? Uh... Right. Okay, so, remember our first conversation? You're inside the core now. The heart of the engine. And the chamber you're in, it's a, um, a battery. It contains all the dreams the tower has collected. Millions of them. You've probably seen the big glowing blue pillar. That's the vortex, the manifestation of the dream energy. You're standing by the main controls to the engine. I don't need details, Fadaus. Just tell me what to do. Sorry. So, there's a way to control the engine from where I am, but you need to give me direct access first. Right now, the engine will be in automatic mode, because it's, it's designed to be autonomous during the final calculations. You need to put it back into manual mode, there should be a panel to the left of the speaking tube. Locate the knob with a hand symbol on it. That indicates manual controls. And we're in manual mode. Good. That's great work. Um... Um, we need to act fast because warning lamps will be lighting up all over. Now that we've disabled the automatic mode, you need to patch me directly into the engine's controls. Uh, do you see the, the panel on, on the, um, uh, I think the far wall behind you? Those are the pipes that connect to my location, to the, um, to the knobs on my console. You must switch that panel's redirector at the same time you switch the signal repeater on the main console. Switch what with what? At the same time, that that panel's on the other side of the chamber. This operation usually requires two people. Fadaus, I'm on my own here, you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, sure. It's still the only way to make this work, so, uh... I'll figure something out. Hold on. Bird, we have a problem. Naturally. And since you're including me, Crow, in this conversation, what is it you need me to do for you? Fadaus needs access to the engine in order to reprogram it. Fairy Dows? Reprogram? Those words sound like gobbledygook to me. Just listen. Fadaus, will Crow be able to switch on the redirector? Crow? What Crow? Oh, it's that adorable bird who's friends with Zoe. Hey, Kion. Are you with Crow? How did that happen? Crow is a large and reasonably intelligent magical fowl, capable of following basic directions. Can he turn the switch? Reasonably intelligent? I, um... Uh, I don't see why not. It's... it's just a switch. Reasonably? Good. So, Crow, that panel on the other side of the room, there's a switch. Fadaus, what does the switch look like? Reasonably? Really? It's big and it's painted green. It should be easy to find. Even for a... a bird. Even for a... Oh, just wait till I get my beak on you, fella. All right. Point me in the right direction and I'll flip your switch. Even a bird of reasonable intelligence should be able to pull that one off. Good. So, you'll need to go... There. See that panel? Look for a green switch. Wait for my signal. Then flip it. Gotcha. Wait. What kind of signal? Uh, a signal. I don't know. A, a wave. What if you have to wave for some other reason? It could get confusing. A fine. Arm waving. I'll keep my eyes open for flapping arms. Wait. Did you actually call me Crow before? Not Bird, but Crow? I have no memory of that. You did. 
You love me. I'll do anything for you, Kian. Anything you want. I can't believe you called me Crow. Just do this, bird. Crow. There it is again. Consider it done, Kian. Partner. Best friend. Crow's on his way to the other panel. What do I do on my end? So, let's see. There should be uh, three panels where you're standing. And further right, another set of three panels. See the big lever on the first panel? That's the one you need to pull. There's only one. You can't miss it. Probably. Pull the lever and hold it down while the talking bird flips the switch on the other panel. Don't let go until I tell you to. Understood. Goddess! Kian? Kian! What are you- Tana? Mother? Light! Why are you here, Kian? How did you- I'm relieved to see you. Where's... where's Ami? Is he here? He, he's confronting Vamon's men, together with the Resistance. Mother, we've seen the camps. We know what's been happening on Guillen. I know, we... I know. We need to talk urgently, but not here. We must leave now before... Wait, what are you doing here? I've... He kept my eye on this engine, trying to learn what it can do. Kian, I need to tell you something important, and we don't have much... Okay, remind me again about that sign you're supposed to give me, Kian. Was it one arm above your head, or... Oh, hello. Wait, what? You two actually know each other? Crow. What? Does everyone know each other? How many people are there in the world? Five? I guess I should be used to this by now. I've been around you guys long enough, nothing should surprise me. So, Mother, how's the Office of Scientific Research going? You just let me know when you need another message delivered. I'm your bird. The Office of Scientific... You... work for the Office of Scientific Research? Oh, Kian. Works? <laughs> Mother Utana runs the Office of Scientific Research. I know this because I've been a messenger bird for the Mother, both in Sadir and here in Marcuria. She's the top dog, numero uno. No one above. She is the Office of Scientific Research. I was going to tell you, Kian. Just... Not like this. Not now. I guess it can't be helped. You knew about the camps, about the Magicals, about what... what Sister Alessandra was doing. How long? How long have you known? Wait. Are you behind all of this? I don't know what to say, except... I am truly... truly sorry. Oh. Just... just lie down. I'm sorry. Hold still. Don't die on me. You left me no choice. What... what did you do? Did you just stab him? Why? That's... What happened here? Who's that? An inconvenience. I took care of it. For your sake, I hope you're right. What's the matter with you? That goon. He... he sucker-punched me. And now you're back on your feet, so get to... What's the bird doing here? You? Aren't you? No, 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 no! We 
can't afford any more distractions. The dreams are restless. The engine is ready. It is time. some kind of lockdown, I'm guessing because of me. Heavy duty, they could easily lock down this entire place. Jiva, that sounds familiar. Wait. Helena Chang's company, my mother. One, nine, Faith. Faith, as in my half-sister, Faith. One, five, Hope. One, three, Hannah. One, one, Zoe, Jesus. What does this mean? Was that my incubation pod? They're scanning molecular structures, people, brains. And what are those blue lights? Shit. I'm trapped. We have a runner exiting bioengineering. This is not Briar Rose. Shoot to kill. Oh, oh, ah! Target's down. Repeat, the target's dead. Poor guy. I hate to do this, but I need this more than you. I'm sorry. Zoe, don't Stop! Don't move on my ship! We got her. She's in the core. I repeat, target is in the core. Stay there. Everyone, stay exactly where you are. Hello, Zoe. Lady, I told you. Mum. Helena. Dad, what's going on? What is this place? You need to get out of here. Now. Everyone, stop talking!
The new age. Goddess, protect me. I pray I'm doing right by you. We cannot let outsiders dictate the future of our empire. The Prophet is a tool, and so is this engine. Your light is eternal, Goddess. Under my watch, it will reach the darkest corners of the world, and beyond. Behold! The mechanical revolution! An end to magic! The dawn of enlightenment! Witness the engine and its awesome powers! Keon! Keon, please respond! I don't think he can hear you, Anna. If he's hurt, we'll need a new plan. Shit. We can't even get out of here with those soldiers trying to break in. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, is it just me, or is it, uh... Quiet? The soldiers must have left. Something's going on. Something bad if they've abandoned their posts. We need to move. Now, if we can't get through to Keon, or if he's... Dead. We need to get into the tower ourselves. But how? If the Azadi really have abandoned their posts? Through the front door. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm sure it will be. Let's go. Wait! Okay, you two head for the tower. I'm going to find the others. If the Azadi are running scared, we have an opportunity to strike back. All right. Stay safe, Eni. You too. I hope Kian's okay. I'm sure he's okay. Kian's always okay. Right? Dad? You must have a lot of questions. Hey, why? Why am I locked up in here? Let me out! I can't do that, but I promise I'll explain. Just try to relax. Please, I... Is that... Dad? Dad! Dad, what's happening? Let me out! He can't. Not yet. What did you do? I had to subdue him. There's so much at stake, I can't afford anyone getting overly emotional. Even though Helen is my mother, she clearly has little empathy for me. Pleading may be pointless, but maybe she'll respond to anger. Open this up right now! Let me go! Let me out or I swear I'll... Calm down. Getting upset won't help you or your father. After we're done, you can leave. You and Gabrielle. That was the deal. Done with what? The culmination of 30 years of research. My life's work. Rebooting the world. What? I will explain, and hopefully you'll understand. But first, I do need you to calm down and be rational. Nothing good will come from panicking. She's right. There's no point fighting this. Not yet. All I can do is breathe. That's better. Deep breath, Zoe. Now listen to me. 
For the past year and a half, you've been in a coma inside Jiva's labs in Mumbai. You've been dreaming. No, that's not possible. Hold on, I'm not saying it's all been a dream. Everything you've experienced has been real. That's what's so amazing and exciting, Zoe. While you were dreaming, you projected a physical binary of yourself into the waking world. Think of it like entangled particles, one copy here in my lab and one in Europolis. You dreamed yourself a new life in Propast, and it came to be as real as anything. But why? Two reasons. Misdirection, to keep Wadi Corp off our backs, and more importantly, to trigger your memories and activate your latent powers. We needed you to return to that... <sighs> that parallel other world to find and absorb a primal source of dreaming energy to fulfill your potential. Looks, are you there? You have a unique skill. You must have realized this by now. You can reshape reality. I'm a dreamer. There have always been stories of those born with the power to change the world, but I couldn't wait around for that to happen, so... your father and I made you. They were married. Of course they made me. What does she mean? How's Gabrielle involved? What did he do? My father? We were partners, and you were the first experiment. Our first creation. We designed you. The first manufactured dreamer. You were born in this lab. There were other experiments. Half-sisters. Faith, of course, the final girl. She was a mistake. And you met Hannah not so long ago. She was the second experiment, after you. You were drawn to each other, and she was drawn here. To Angana, to the dreams. I know she's in Mumbai, but she's not strong enough to affect anything. She poses no threat. None of them worked out, not the way we intended. And I didn't think you would either. So I let your father take you away when you were a toddler. He cared so much about you. He was willing to give up everything, his life, his career. Me? How could I say no? It wasn't until you connected to a dream machine that I realized your powers were there, only latent. That's why I put you in a coma and brought you back here. I did it to protect you. If I hadn't, Wadi would have taken you. Your father had no choice but to come along. He did what he had to do to keep you safe. We both did. We saved your life, Zoe. And we made a deal. Gabrielle would help me finish what we'd begun. We'd be partners again. And then, afterwards, he could take you home. I'd leave you alone. The deal still stands once we finish changing the world. Did she just say what I think she said? Helena is clearly unstable. You must be joking. Of course not. I need you to understand this. We're going to remake the world. You and I. How? I don't have time to go into details, but... There's a place we go when we dream. Story time. Different cultures have different names for it. The Aranda people of Australia call it dream time. Think of it as the initial state of all matter and energy in every possible universe. The blueprint. All realities originated in this initial state, and they remain entangled, evolving one universe affecting another. Wave energies are fueled by dreams. Particles in our world are entangled with particles in Arcadia because they were created together in story time. Eingana has the power to change the wave field, and thus the observable universe through dreams. Wati, the dream machine. They must somehow be connected to Helena and Jiva. So what's Wati Corp's role in this? Wadi funded us, funded the development of the Dream Machine. We needed to collect and store dream energy. The Dream Machine facilitated that. They thought we were working for them, not the other way around. Wadi just wanted brainwashed consumers. They wanted to sell their silly toy to billions and rule over a virtual world. They have no imagination. How does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? If that wasn't a dream, then what is it? And Arcadia? 
One of many worlds spawned from dreams. A world of... <sighs> I, I'm a scientist. I don't understand magic. It's chaotic, complex, and unpredictable. Magic is dangerous, and it has no place in a rational universe. But we needed it. We had to bridge the divide in order to store these vast quantities of dream energy. We put things in motion to return you to Arcadia, but you do most of the work yourself. Of course, we had help on, on the other side, a, a partner, but he didn't... You did it on your own, Zoe. You were compelled to connect with the primal force that inhabited the initial state before this universe. That was only possible by crossing the Divide. Something called you there. Some force guided you. I, I don't know how to quantify it or explain it. But you succeeded. You absorbed the energy, and it didn't kill you. You got stronger. Strong enough to wake up and break out sooner than anticipated, but... The timing ended up being perfect. You've reached your full potential. You're finally ready to interface with Eingana. What about my friends in Propast? What about Reza? Were they just dreams? If I dreamed myself into Europolis, what about Reza? My friends? Were they... Dreams? No, you don't understand. They're real. All of it was real, Zoe. You were there, in Propast, a physical projection walking amongst real people. A three-dimensional copy made flesh using the power of dreams. And they never realized. Well, at least most of them didn't. I sent someone to protect you in case anything went wrong. It's a good thing I did, too. Things spun out of control. Falk Friedman saved your life. As for Reza, it's more complicated. He's been an unwitting agent of Wati. His reckless investigations caught their attention. They needed to manipulate the press and they wanted to keep an eye on you. He was an easy tool, so they brainwashed him. We'll fix Reza, I promise. She's mentioned Aingana several times now. It sounds important. And familiar. Aingana. Meet Aingana. It took me decades to design and build her. She spans dimensions, taps into the dream energies. She's quite the thing. But she's actually not the first. Wadi had the prototype. They used her to operate the beta version of Dreamnet. After she was destroyed, we built Eingana too. She operates the version of Dreamnet currently processing and recording the dreams of hundreds of millions of Dream Machine users. And now, we're reversing the process with you as the conduit, connecting quantum fields, connecting dream time with reality, Eingana will begin to alter our observable universe. Don't look so worried, Zoe. You won't need to do anything. She knows what to do. I've programmed her, and my template will guide her. Together, you'll make a better world. A world without sickness or death, a world without superstition, intolerance. A world where everyone's equal, where justice and compassion will prevail. A world not ruled by corporations or religions, but by science and logic, by rational thought. A better world. I need to stall for time, keep her talking until I can figure out a way to open this pod. How will you accomplish all of this? I know you have more questions, but we need to get started before those goons break down the doors and ruin everything. Helena, wait! Here we go. Crow? Crow, is that you? I think so. I'm... I'm supposed to show you something. What? Why? What are you doing here? And where is here? I don't know. 
I don't even know how I got here. I'm... I'm a, a bit... Uh, a bit... I don't feel right. I'm not sure what happened, and I'm not sure I'm all here, if that makes sense. Mm, no. No. Yeah, no. I can see how that makes no sense. What are you supposed to show me? Oh, I almost forgot. So the ghost in the machine told me to do this thing. This one last thing. The ghost said that this has been my destiny all along. I don't expect you'll know what I'm talking about. Crow, I don't even know where this is. A minute ago, I was inside a pod in a lab, and now- We're inside the quantum weave that makes all the stories. This is reality's blueprint. How did I know that? What does quantum mean? What's a blueprint? Well, that explains everything. That was sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. This ghost in the machine, who was it? No idea. I remember nothing before meeting you here, aside from a ghost telling me to show you what I'm about to show you. And I don't even know what that is. Show me what? There's nothing here. Let's go find it. Does this look at all familiar to you? It looks like a monastery. There you go. Maybe that's it. That doesn't really help. Hey, that looks like a diary. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path, the other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse? Our Westhouse? The plot thickens. Thickens or just getting more muddled. I don't know what this is supposed to tell us. That Westhouse is involved? There's that, I guess. Come on, there's more. We're ready, Traveler. Your journey is about to begin. I've seen stuff like that in films, but never in real life. This looks like a ready. Buddhist temple. Step onto the dais, traveler. Okay, so what just happened? Portals. They're all over the place. Let's follow him. Through the... Wait! This is the story time. You know this place? I remember. I was here. For a long time. It's the place between. I didn't want to wake up and they... They needed me. The people who were dreaming. They were sick. I tried to help them. Uh-huh. Interesting. But we need to see what's going on. I'm supposed to show you this. What are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. I... don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. 
You cannot stay. I, I don't know how to go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? What do you mean? What? The undreaming. God. What is that? What? No. 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 What is that terrifying thing? That's the undreaming. I know it is. I feel it. Well, that's going to give me nightmares for a long, long time. The undreaming entered West House. It sure did. Was he looking for it? Is that why he came here? Or was it an accident? I guess that's what you're supposed to figure out. Come on, we have more places to visit. Home sweet home. The house feels strangely quiet. It must be, what, a year since I last visited? And who knows how long it's been for the house. Could be a day, could be decades. Balance, I need to get moving. There's not much time until the song lines align. Let's see, elixir, a good rope, a spatula, chop chop saga. Rope check. Spatula, check. I'm out of the elixir. Okay, I knew that. No worries, Saga, this is all part of the plan. I'm fairly certain the recipe's in the compendium. There should be enough time to prepare a bottle. Prophecies can't be wrong, can they? No. Right? Let's see. Elixir of extraordinary extra human strength. Elixir of multiple consecutive climaxes. Elixir of selective remembrance. Hmm. There. Elixir of delayed onset of mortality. That's the one. Keep ticking after you've taken a licking. Page 108. Dried blood bog blossoms. Leaf of void oak boiled in strong liquor. Those things should be easy enough to find around here. Isn't the house supposed to take care of all living things inside it? I didn't know I had to water the flowers. Oh, but wait, maybe... Dried blood bog blossoms. Check. Jade Green Baiju, 
High-grade stuff, too. I'd almost forgotten about this little bottle of liquor. This should be more than good enough. What a mess. But there should be void oak leaves here. Leaf of void oak, nice and dry. I think that's it. That wasn't too bad. And there's still time on the clock. Time to boil up some elixir. That's the alcohol heating nicely. Mmm, nice. Bit of a waste, but it's for a good cause. No, this doesn't look right. I'll need to double check the compendium. Dried leaf, crumpled to a fine dust. And whole blossoms. Perfect. Now it just needs to boil again. How do I know when this is done? Will there be a... Definitely a poof. Looks the right color, and it's already cooled down. I love alchemy. So much easier than chemistry. Laws of science need not apply. Rope, spatula, elixir. Check, check, and check. I think that's everything. With only minutes to spare, <laughs> you'd almost think the stars are aligning on purpose. Except no stars, paths. Time to go knock down a wall. This should do the trick. Papa was so worried about the cracks reopening, he checked the wall every day for decades. You know that feeling when paths don't line up with where you want to go? That feeling. In all fairness, when these song lines were first sung, I don't think these walls were here. Or these metal gears. No worries, I come prepared, because prophecies. There's a gap and I can feel a draft. This is it, the way out. This is it. I just need to switch it off. Luckily, I came prepared. Second one from... Perfect Fit. <laughs> the spatula really is the queen of kitchen utensils. I feel like I'm playing life on cheat mode.
That's him, down there. I hope I'm not too late. No, we should be good. I'm on schedule. I can't think. I can't sleep. I can't dream. I can't have you inside me. You're eating me up. Why are you not doing what I've asked you to do? You're supposed to give me power. You're supposed to serve me, not, not the other way around. Stop whispering! Magic must be destroyed for the worlds to become one. For Stark and Arcadia to reconnect. For me to return home. You must help me accomplish this. You must listen to me. You see, if magic leaks into Stark, it'll cause chaos and mayhem. Millions will die. I, I don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. It must be done. So, Brian is the prophet. That's a twist I didn't see coming. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I saw that coming. Brian's possessed by the undreaming. He brings it to Arcadia, and then it starts... talking to him? Controlling him? Sounded to me like he wanted to control it. But why? Uh, to destroy magic? There must be more to it than that. I'm just repeating what he said. Come on, there's much more. I've been here before. The Dark People's Library. Something happened here that... Okay, here we go. Who's there? Hello? Funny Bird, is that you? Oh, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait, no. What are you... killed the white dragon yeah and I was there I saw mr. Westhouse and he saw me he tried to kill me too but I was struck with something from that pointy magic stick of his and I I blacked out next thing I know I was stowed away on a ship to Sadir I must have crawled into a barrel or something I didn't remember any of it until until the prophet grabbed me I heard him there was blood, and 
I don't know what happened next, but his blood... That's what's helping me pull you into these memories. The Prophet's blood! Is that weird? No weirder than anything else I've experienced this past week. Welcome to my life. Do you question the goddess, Utana? Of... of course not. I... just want... I need to understand why all non-humans must be destroyed. Magic is an aberration. It has no place in this cosmos. It's chaos, and chaos interferes with logic, with the engine, with her plans. This I understand. Reunification cannot happen as long as Arcadia is ruled by magic. But... the non-humans... If we are to fulfill the wishes of the Goddess, we must purify the world. Only then can the mechanical engine serve her. Do you understand now? I... Uh... Yes. Master. My office will establish camps and ship non-humans to the islands. And I'll find someone to spearhead the program to uh, eradicate magicals. Good. I'll be leaving for the Northland soon to oversee the final construction of the tower and the engine. I trust Azadir is in good hands. Oh, the Masked Council answers to me only. The Six will continue to heed our advice. Sadir belongs to us, Master Prophet. And this new emissary? Sister Saya will join you. She's young, but clever and loyal. She'll serve you well in Mercuria. I trust your judgment. Send word when the camps are ready, Otana. Did you understand that? No, but that was Mother Utana. She took me in after I arrived in Sadir. I did some work for her. She helped me get back to Mercuria. Kian and her appeared to be very close until... until she stabbed him with a knife to the belly. She what? That... that just happened. Out there, before the Prophet wrung my neck and... Oh, Mother of Ravens, I remember now. I remember what happened. I, I think I died. Am I dead? You're here. That's all I know. So Mother... Mother Utana serves the Prophet, and the Prophet orchestrates the destruction of Magicals. Which means Westhouse is responsible for... for actual genocide. God. I feel weird, Zoe. I don't like this feeling. I'm... I'm scared. I'm sorry, Crow. Place. It was... it was filled with numbers and calculations, an eternity of equations. I couldn't find my way out. It was terrifying. So much power. I owe you my life, sir. And now you will serve me. How? Oh. You'll help me build something. A mechanical engine. Like that calculator I was trapped inside? Something like it, but much greater. On a scale never before seen. In return, I'll grant you power. Power? 
What kind of power? The kind you once knew, Necromancer King. That was a long time ago. Another age. One in which magic meant something. I accept your proposition. So what's next? <laughs> What did you put inside me? Something to keep safe. Something that must remain hidden. It whispers to me. Don't listen to it. The Undreaming has ambitions. Best we don't let those ambitions loose on the world. Not yet. Tell no one of this. There are those who are willing to commit murder to get to what's inside you. My... My lips are sealed, Master. I swear! Only the scepter can shatter the shard of the Soul Stone you carry within. The Soul Stone? My Soul Stone? It was never yours, Wizard. But yes, a piece of it. This scepter and the Soul Stone were forged from the same dream at the beginning of everything. Is that... Is that the Silver Spear of Gorimon? Where did you find it? It harbors great and ancient magics. Could I? No. And not magic. This is an object older than magic. It can both control and destroy magic. It's capable of slicing through the fabric between worlds. It's so beautiful. I spent decades looking for it. I found it with one of the Dryad kin. It looks... alive? It's been fed the blood of dragons, charged with the oldest magic of them all. It's finally ready. And once my engine has been built, the Scepter's true powers will be revealed. You'll stay close to me, in Mercuria. I'll call on you when I need you. With the help of the Azadi Nation, you'll build my engine. They're eager for the power they believe it'll grant them. They'll serve me, their prophet. In exchange, you'll have everything you could ever want. You'll be there, next to me, reshaping worlds. I look forward to it, Master. I knew that wizard couldn't be trusted. I could have told you that. Wait, I did. He was there, Clax. When the Prophet broke my neck, he's working for the Prophet. So Clax has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him. That must be the same Soul Stone I brought to Lux. Why does the Prophet need to keep it safe? Something to do with the Undreaming? The Undreaming? It's inside that shard. It's not inside West House because, because then it'd be controlling him and he's the one controlling it. You were right, Crow. I was? I was! I think, I think this is what I was supposed to show you. Okay, so what's next? We keep walking, I guess. I mean, maybe there's more to see. April? You. I should have guessed you'd be here. Or... It's not actually you. This place is strange. You're probably just an... An echo. A ghost. What was that whole thing about find her, save her? I found you, but I didn't save you. I didn't save anyone. You did. How? I was trapped. You freed me. You died. And was reborn. Reborn? How? You're not telling. Or this echo is incomplete. I know this can't be you, not really, because you're dead and this is just... <sighs> so what do I do now? I'm supposed to save the dream, but I don't know how. What have you learned? I don't know. Westhouse brought the Undreaming to Arcadia. First, it was inside him, but 
Then he put it into the Soul Stone Shard. He became the prophet and he manipulated the Azadi people, freed Clax and... Clax? The Shard's inside Clax. Which means the Undreaming is inside Clax. And that spear can shatter it. The one that killed the White Dragon? The Silver Spear of... of... Gorimon? That's what you were supposed to show me, Crow. The key to destroying the Shard and unleashing the Undreaming. The Undreaming isn't the real danger here. I mean, yes, it is dangerous, but only because West House is using it, controlling it. We need to unleash the Undreaming. That sounds a teensy-weensy bit risky. I know, but this is what has to happen. I don't know why I know. Maybe because Lux knows, and Lux is part of me now. We find the spear, and murder Clax, and unleash the Undreaming, all by ourselves? We can't. We need help. We need... Kian. Kian. If I can get word to Kian, then there's still hope. But I need to get out of here. Uh, how do I get out of here? Good luck, Zoe. Hey, funny bird. April? Are you ready to go now? I... yeah. Yeah, I am. I've missed you, April. I've missed you too. Come on, Crow. We have a long journey ahead of us. Well, my mind's back. I know what I need to do, but I'm still in the fucking pod. I need to get out of the pod right now. Okay, so I don't think Helena knows I'm awake. Better keep it that way, or she'll just drug me again. Mother, dearest. I can't believe that bitch is my biological mum. She looks preoccupied. I guess altering the observable universe requires focus. That panel operates the pod, and... Oh, it's right there. Only a thin sheet of plastic away. A thin sheet of a very, very strong plastic. That panel operates the pod, and... Oh, it's right there. Dad! Is he okay? He looks unharmed. Oh, thank God. Mother, dearest, I can't believe that bitch is my biological mum. That panel operates the pod, and, oh, it's right there. Only a thin sheet of plastic away, a thin sheet of... No, if she hears me, she'll gas me again, and then... the end. No, if Helena hears me, she'll drug me again, and then... That's the end of it, of everything. What looks like reality is wavering, breaking apart. The walls between dream and reality are starting to get thin near that vortex. It's Ein Garner's doing, and, and mine. Wait, does that mean I can... Yes, I'm on the border between waking and dream. Story time's right here, a thought away, which means I can shape dreams. I can change reality. (laughs) 
locked with a code, of course. Come on, Helena. It must be in there somewhere, the code. You must have been thinking about it just there. Got it. 7914. Okay, so let's try this. Seven, nine, one, four. What? This isn't right. You shouldn't be able to... Hold on, Zoe? Just wait. Let's... Let's talk this through. If you don't reconnect with Aingana, the wave field will collapse before it's reached the correct amplitude. Don't you understand? This reality is perfectly entangled with the... Stop. <gasps> your... Your powers are manifesting an observed reality, independent of the quantum field generated by Angana. That's interesting. That means the world is changing. You're in control. It's working, Zoe. It's working. It's beginning to... Enough, Helena. Oh, put that thing down, Gabrielle. We both know you won't use it. Our contract is void. Watty security is right outside that door, and you've set your insane project in motion. What's stopping me from killing you right now? Her? You won't kill your little girl's mother in front of... What's that? What's happening? I don't know. This never occurred in any of my models. The cut. It's closing up. It's temporary. You'll need to have it looked at by a proper medic before the night's over. Or you'll bleed to death. Is this magic? Who cares? It's saving your life. Delaying death. Utana. She did this. Who are you? Long story. How are you feeling? Better. Good. Great. I... We're running a bit short on time, so you'll have to excuse me. Very impressive. What school of sorcery is this? Not magic. And shut up. I'm trying to focus. Nice outfit. Uh, thanks. You've opened a portal between Stark and Arcadia. It's called a shift. You're a shifter? Not really. I usually walk paths that are already open. To be honest, I'm not very good at this. I need to stay right here to keep this shift open, so we'll have to skip the handshakes and move on to the main event. Kian, Zoe, Zoe, Kian. I know you guys are supposed to speak. That's why we're all here. So speak. And, uh... Make it quick. We've met before in... We have. We keep missing each other and... We do. You I'm don't just... what? You first. Zoe. I know who the Prophet is, and I know how to stop the undreaming. Or at least, I think I do. It might not work, but it's all we have, and... Roper Clax. He's the key. He has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him, but we need the Silver Spear of Goromon to destroy it, and that's... Zoe. Slow down. The undreaming. A destructive force, capable of, of unmaking the universe. The Prophet's using it to destroy magic and reunite the worlds. And this magical spear? The Silver Spear of Goromon. The Prophet used it to kill the Draic Kin, charging it with dragon's blood. He needs it to destroy magic and alter the dream. The spear is the only thing that can shatter the shard inside Clax. Of course. And where do we find the spear? The Prophet carries it with him. I don't think he lets it out of his sight. So, find the Prophet, find the spear. And probably Clax. Clax was here. I punched him, but he got away. Someone survived being punched by you. I held back. He called himself an engineer. The Prophet's been using Clax, like he's been using your people. But why does he want to kill magicals? Maybe, in his own twisted head, Brian believes he's doing the universe a favor. 
Could you guys get a move on? I'm not sure how long I can keep this doorway open. We need to stop the Prophet, Kian. And we stop him by destroying the shard of the soul stone Roper Klax carries inside him. You're certain this will stop the... the undreaming? I think so. It... it feels right. Besides, what have we got to lose? Nothing. Everything. But if we can stop the Prophet by taking his spear and killing a wizard, this is something I can do. I'm coming with you. No. No, you can't. We're not done here. I'll see the two of you afterwards. No, you won't. What? Nothing. I'm Saga. I'm Zoe. But you know that. Listen, this may look easy, but it's not. Weight of worlds on my shoulders, the pull of alien gravities, knees buckling, etc. So you need to not distract me. Uh, okay. Sorry. What should I... We wait. I opened the shift, you spoke to Keon. That's why I was sent here. What comes next? It's not up to me. How do you know all this? Because that's how the story goes, and it's been written, and we can't change that. Now shush. Okay, okay. Not really, but great that you could make it. Who the hell are you? Is everyone gonna ask me that question? Who am I kidding? Of course everyone's going to ask me that question. I'm just the woman keeping the doorway open because I was asked to do so and I couldn't really say no. I have no idea who you are, lady, so I'm going to guess you're not that important. But him? He's got a job to do. Is that... Stark? Is that Stark through there? Is it? Yep. Hi, Zoe. Anna. Uh, this one's Ferdows. I always believed the stories about a mirror world. Oh, but this... It's incredible. Where's Keon? Is he alright? We lost contact with him. He went after the Prophet. Of course he did. I'm sorry, but Saga, how are these two going to help? I don't know. I'm a glorified doorkeeper. Why don't you ask them? Don't look at me. He's the star here. Ferdows. Ferdows, stop staring at that bloody portal. Oh, uh, yeah, um, hello. Tell this one what you're planning. I, uh, I was gonna feed the engine a, a series of, uh, uh, calculations designed to make it, um, uh, well, to, to, to force it to, uh, well, um, stop. You mean crash it? Crash? Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How did you know? Do you also code spheres? Spheres? Uh, I guess you could say that. So you can force the engine to crash? 
Yes. Uh, I mean, no. I, I, I could have. Not anymore. It, it stopped taking new instructions when it began running the final calculations and... There's no way to get in. No, it's a closed system. Once the final set of instructions are running, there's nothing that I... I mean, I didn't write the core operational code. If I knew more about how that code functions, then, then maybe... Do you have schematics? Diagrams? Diagrams? Of, of the engine? Uh, I, well, I, I don't, but they keep diagrams right here. Y you know, I could probably find some. Get them. I happen to know the most brilliant program engineer there is, in Stark at least. If anyone can wrap their head around a steampunk calculating engine, it's wit. Saga, can Fadaus pass through the shift? No idea. But you made it through without being torn into a billion pieces, so the odds are decent. Got them! Uh, what was that about a billion pieces? Let's go. Huh? Friend of Keon's? Not really, no. So, this is some sort of magic portal between worlds. Something like that. Huh. Vaven? A K-O-N Tekalogica? The most advanced engine there is, yeah. Wait, you're not speaking English. I guess you weren't speaking English in the first place, but... I still understand you. Do you understand me? Ah. Huh. Uh... Koe? I guess that was expecting too much. Well, we're gonna have to make this as simple and as visual as possible. Mira, put wit on. No. Shut up. No discussions. Do it now. Please. Wit? Zoe, I need your help. And fast. Hold on, I'm sending you some schematics. I need you to figure out a way to get this system caught in an infinite loop. And for Dows, watch. Hey, watch this. Everything is ready? Everything's ready. Master, the engine is operating within parameters, the well of dreams has been activated, the tower is focusing the current, and the tear is expanding. You need only tap into the well with your scepter, and then you can shape the dreaming to your will. Good. You'll receive your reward, Clax, I promise. Master. At long last. They'll understand when they witness the new world. They'll understand that I was merciful and kind. That I acted in the best interests of all humanity. Sometimes people have to die for the rest of us to live on. And I can go home again. After all these years. Home. Elite Rub, Elite Rub, 
destroy you. It's channeling the dreams of an entire world. I'm on your side, you idiot. I'm trying to eradicate magic. Do you understand me now? Uh, yes, perfectly. On that side, you're speaking gibberish. Um, Zoe? English. It was English. But did you pick up on what Wit was showing you? Zoe, you need to hurry. The shift's starting to contract. Okay. So did it make sense to you? The instructions? Yes. Yes. Uh, it made sense. A special set of instructions, fed directly into the engine, designed to mask itself as part of the final programming, but, but with erroneous calculations. Calculations that will cause the engine to enter an infinite loop and burn itself out. Uh, um, a... Virus. We call it a virus. Like... like a disease? <laughs> this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. Now, Zoe! And can you do it? Uh, well, I don't know if I... Huh! So, can you? Uh, now that I understand the fundamentals, yes. I'll need to feed a series of manual instructions directly into the engine. It'll take some time, but time I Time we don't have. Just get started. Oh, goddess. Uh, all right. How do we shut it down? Only she knows. We won't be shutting anything down, even if you threaten to shoot me. We're not shooting any- <gasps> Mr. Mr. Westhouse? What are you- Oh, God. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. What? You betrayed me. You're trying to destroy everything I've... You were a tool, Helena. Nothing more. Did you think I'd let you play God? Existence is an accident. It was never meant to be dreamed. There was just dreaming and undreaming. Let her go. You're not supposed to be on your own. You've been causing so much grief. They don't understand you. They don't understand that there needs to be balance in all things. Life and death. Light and darkness. Creation, destruction. Dream and undream. All things in balance. It's time to come home and to dream new dreams.
It's working. It, it's working. The engine it, it, it's 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 spinning back around, reversing, reversing the instructions. The vortex is winding down. <sighs> Thank God, it's, it's working. They're here, Vamon. Harmi's men, the rebels, and your men too. Deserters! Goddess, save us! They're here! How did this happen? Were your men not supposed to remain loyal? Did you not make me that promise? I killed Harmi. But his men must have got to mine. They saw the tide turning. They were spooked when the tower lit up. Sorcery. They believe it's sorcery and they blame us. So do something about it! What exactly do you want me to do? Convince them to change sides again? It's over, sire. Everything's falling apart. Goddess, why have you abandoned me? I thought... I thought I was doing your work. So we stay here, and we face them when they come. You and I, together. We tell them we were misled by the Prophet, like so many others. That we believed we were acting in accordance with the wishes of the Goddess. Perhaps the light will shine upon us, and we'll be spared. Or at least, we die with our heads lifted to the sky, redeemed in her glory. Vamon, we can walk the slopes of the first mountain, hand in hand. You'll do this for me, Vamon. Because you love me, and you wish to protect me. We share the responsibility for this. We... <gasps> I am not staying here to be arrested, tried, and executed in ignominy. Her shame was too great. She jumped. She had misled everyone, including the commander. I will let you take credit as the sole architect of our grand scheme, sire. I grant you that gift.
Oh, my darling boy. I'm sorry you were caught in the middle. I'm returning to Sadir. This has been a setback for us, but we will persevere without the Prophet. The Council is ours. We control the army. We may not be able to rid the world of magic yet, but we can cleanse Azadir. We can prepare for the war ahead. I'm doing what needs to be done to save the soul of our nation. To save our people. To save you, Kian. When you reach the first mountain and look down on us all, you'll understand. That's right. You left me to die on a street once. I'm just returning a favor. But you were nothing. Just a, a slave girl. I'm free now. Ah! me. So many fallen. If I hadn't gone. But then we wouldn't know the truth. I wouldn't know the truth. And we probably would have lost this war. The dead will be remembered by the living. And their souls will find a home in the light. Goddess, embrace them all. You guided us, Shepard. You guided me. And you believed in me when no one else did. When I didn't believe in myself. You saved me. And this is how I will remember you. I'll never again meet anyone like her. But I'll carry her song within me. And perhaps share her wisdom with others in turn. Bob who can see. I'd say rest well, but... I know that whatever awaited you on the other side, you didn't sit still for long. Whichever deity rules your afterlife is probably tearing their hair out. The General lived a long life, filled with both triumphs and regret. But he ended it his way, standing tall and proud, and foul-mouthed. Are you going to kill me now? I did swear an oath, Ozadi. You did? And if you choose to do so, I won't fight you. I won't fight my brother. I believe the gods may be willing to turn a blind eye to my commitment. Good. I'm glad you have forgiving gods. 
I shared the sentiment. So, what now, Liko? Where to next? This war is just starting. You need people you can trust standing with you. I thought maybe I'd join you in Azadir. I could use Liko's help in Sadir. And we've grown close. He's needed here, in Mercuria, more than I need him in Sadir. I could use Liko's help in Sadir. I think that sounds like a good idea. We need to unite my people and yours. And I can imagine no better man at my side than you, Liko. Likewise. So when do we leave? As soon as possible. Utana fled the city with the first. I don't believe the Six have any idea they've been deceived. Even without the Prophet, the Masked Council has amassed enough power to make them a formidable enemy. Utana will be in control of Azadir when she returns there. We can't pull the entire Azadi army out of Mercuria without creating unrest. Half the troops will need to stay behind to ease the transition. But it'll have to do. We have the light on our side. Civil war seems inevitable. But we walk with the Goddess, and our enemies are blinded by the Shadow. We will prevail, and the Mother will have to pay for her crimes. We're bringing Naane. She asked to come along. She can be of good use to us. I'm going to ask Enu to step up and take over some of Shepard's tasks here in Mercuria. A wise choice. I believe so. If she accepts. She'll do anything for you. The restoration will take time, and it won't be complete before all the Magicals are back in the city. The ones who want to return. But perhaps that's for the best. Trust between humans and non-humans will need to be restored first. I wish I could stay to help, but my mission isn't here. I need to look west now. Just say the word. I'm ready, Kian. Brother. We'll leave soon. I just have to say my goodbyes first. Don't leave. This war isn't over. I know, but don't leave. We can't fix things here without you. And without Shepard? And with Liko going away with you? I mean, who will be in charge? Who's going to make the right decisions and, and secure peace between humans and magicals and... You will. I... Wait, what? Me? How? What? You're the strongest and bravest person I know. With you here, the Resistance will do fine. I don't... But... No, you see, I... I haven't... Huh? The others trust you and admire you. They'll listen to you. You've proved yourself. Okay, now you're going to make me cry. That's not fair. You'll be fine, Enu. Oh, okay, here we go. Floodgates wide open. Goodbye, Enu. I love you. I mean, in a friendly way. I mean... Oh, screw it. <sighs> Goodbye, Kian Alvane. Prophet, General. Whatever else you're going to accomplish with your life, and I'm sure you will accomplish a lot. Good luck. With... With everything. Go save your nation. <sighs> okay, okay, alright. We have so much work to do. Who are you? Where do you come from? The Aether. I followed the song lines here. I walk between worlds. I'm Saga. Saga. Thank you for saving my life, Saga. The choices I've made led me down this path, to Kian Alvane, at just the right time. Every action played a small part in saving his life. You're welcome. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. The Resistance would have failed. Perhaps. Anyway. Thanks for saving the world, then. 
I think our friend Zoe deserves much of the credit for that. I hope she pulled through. I'm sure she did. If not, I would know. We all would. She's... Important? Oh, yes. How did you know to be in the right place at the right time? Does it matter? Who is this woman? Her secrecy and lack of respect is frustrating. Who in Shadow's name are you? Saga, I already... I know your name. Who are you? It's going to take a while to explain. Luckily, we'll have plenty of time before we get to Sadir. Sadir? Capital of the Azadi Empire, situated where the Six Rivers meet the... Stop playing games, woman. I'm coming with you. I... I what? Why? Because that's how the story goes. It's been written, and we can't change that now. We have a war to win. And then, in another decade or so, there's going to be an even bigger war. You'll definitely need me for that one. Us. You'll need us. It's been foretold, Bloodless King. For thousands of years. Seriously, I promise I'll cover all of it when we have some quality time to ourselves. Oh, and... and one last thing. You may not like this one... yet. You're going to... uh... to adopt me. Adopt... what? I'll need a name, in Azadir, a surname, otherwise I won't be useful to you. No one listens to a nameless person, and... it's not like we can just get married. So you adopt me and bring me into your family, and I take your name and become a princess. Saga Alvane. I like the sound of that. I've never had a surname. We didn't need one. What are you talking about? Again, I'll explain soon as we leave. And we should leave soon. Because Sadir needs you. I... Got it. Yes. Yes. To Sadir. But unless you explain everything, everything, I'll toss you overboard before we're halfway there. Understood? I can live with that. Good. Adopt. Mm-hmm. Also, how did you get here? How did you know I was in the Enclave? What was that portal? Can you open portals anywhere? Why not Everything. just- Everything. I pinky promise. <sighs> Light save me. Good morning, Sunshine. Oh. oh, no. Not again. I promise you, it's for real this time. Do you need anything? Do you need water? Um, the curtains closed, or...? No. It's okay. The sun. It's good. The doctor said you'd be waking up. I, I wanted to be here when you did, to... Well, to explain. Did we win? We're still here, and the bad guys are gone, so I guess we did. What happened at the end? There was a, a bright light, voices, and nothing. Darkness, and then, well, this. I don't know. That, that thing that came through, it wasn't, it wasn't human. It tossed me aside like I was nothing. I'm lucky I wasn't killed. I tried to get back on my feet, but then there was a blinding flash of light. And when it faded, it only took a second or two, and then there was just you. No one else. I thought you were dead. And Helena? Gone. Perhaps that thing... Anyway, she won't be back. If she survived, she'll stay away. There's too many people want her locked up. Or dead. Whatycorp? Are they still after me? Oh no, they've got enough problems on their hands. Your friend Sully broke the story. They've been linked to the suicide bombing in Propast, to political payoffs, to corruption, and their plans for the dream machine were exposed. No one's gonna want to log back in anytime soon. 
the syndicates under pressure from the other corporations because of their relationship with Wati. The Eye is under investigation too. They've pulled their operatives from Europolis. That article made shockwaves. Sully sounded really happy when he called. He'll be even happier when he hears you're awake. Wati Corp will probably survive. The Dream Machine will not. And without that, they couldn't care less about you. About us. That's good. And... and Reza... is he...? When Aingana was destroyed, Dreamnet shut down. Wati could no longer control him. He's okay. Confused, but okay. I called him this morning. He's on his way down. Good. Dad, what were you doing in Mumbai with... with that woman? I didn't know any other way. Unless I cooperated, what he was going to... was going to take you away. Helena convinced them to let us bring you to the lab. They believed we were working on improving Dreamnet, while Helena was secretly working on our... on her project. Altering reality. How? Use entangled particles to affect the quantum state of dream time in order to reshape the physical universe. Change dreams, change reality. Helena spent 30 years on this project. We were partners. But it was always her project, her theories. I'm not sure I ever believed it would actually work, but she was determined, and I... You made me. We did. I don't know if you'll ever forgive me for not telling you the truth, but you began life as an experiment. Our goal was to create an individual capable of existing in both realities, the physical and the dreaming. Someone who could change the world with a single thought, with dreams, but it didn't work. You were, you were just a child. To your mother, you were an asset she could use and discard, but I... You were my little girl. That's why I left. You were only two years old. Helena had given up on you. In exchange for my share of Jiva, she let me take you away. I thought it was over. I didn't know she'd come back for you. <sighs> There's... Too much to process right now. I, c I can't. I'll need time. And I'll need the whole story from beginning to end, all the way back. Of course. I'm really sorry, Zoe. I let you down again. Dad, and... stop. You did what you had to do to save me. I still need to understand exactly what happened, but I don't blame you. Where are we? Still in Jeeva's Mumbai lab? No, no, no. This is the real deal. We're back home. Back in Casablanca. Okay. Good. I want to stay. In the hospital? I want to go home. To our house. I miss home. I miss you, Dad. I've missed you too. Of course you can come home, sweetheart. But I'll be asking tons of questions, and I expect honest answers. No more protecting me from the truth, okay? Okay. Right now, though, I just want to... to sit here and watch the sunlight. I'm sick of sleeping. Sick of dreaming. I want to be awake.
tried to get out of here for years No longer know what I'm doing Well, I just disappear I'm getting scared and my heart starts pounding I try to scream but there's no sound Every year, it gets colder. Now let's see if we can't put some life into you. out there you should not have let me go outside you're a big boy what imbalance were you thinking fresh air and I was going a bit stir-crazy inside you know very well it's not safe paths shift with the wind between worlds and the song lines are fragile things at the best of times one discord and you could end up lost forever, just like... You worry too much, old woman. Oh, old woman, huh? You're no spring chicken yourself, bird. Oh, bird me. I've survived worse. Anyway, time to dry my cold feathers by a roaring fire while I enjoy a saucer of sweet sherry. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you, you can't. I, what? I can't what? Be here. You're not serious. You're serious. I'm receiving a visitor and she mustn't see you. There'll be too many questions. Questions I can't easily answer. And who, pray tell, is this very important visitor? I will tell you. Afterwards, go upstairs and warm yourself by the chimney. It won't be too long. After all these years, I get no respect. No, no, don't say anything. It's fine. I'm going upstairs. Just don't expect me to come back down again later. Or ever. I'm making shortbread. Call me when it's ready. Welcome, April Ryan. 